Good afternoon and welcome back to DR Sports for the very first Saturday football show of the season. It's Saturday. It's 2.30. We all know what that means and I hope you've missed us because we're back. Mm, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> and it's great to be back. Uh, it could have been even better to be back. Uh, I'm sure we'll get into the reasons why. Uh, a lot of you guys let me know in the comments already. But let's introduce the first panel of the season. On my left... It's man like Fuad. Mm. The troublemaker. <laughs> he is. Another he is season. the troublemaker, yeah, <laughs> for sure. Uh, on my left, the foot golf specialist. Thank you. It's Matisse. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Redemption. Uh, that's, a, that's a new one, yeah. Redemption. <laughs> yeah. Redemption art. Come on. <laughs> and on my right, the Manchester United fan. He's back with us for the season. It's Neeks. How are you mm. doing? Mm. I'm good, I'm good, I'm all right. I'm all right. As I said the other day, putting on a brave face through this transfer window. Well, good on you, mate. Good on you. Uh, listen, it is great to be back. Um, it's been a long time since we've all been sat around this desk for the Saturday Football Show. Don't forget, we're covering everything from three o'clock onwards in the Premier League today. And of course, don't forget the championship as well. We don't like to neglect the smaller leagues. Do you know what? I might even throw a few League One and League Two scores yeah, in as well. Why not? How yeah. about that? Wherever they're in the ring. Maybe some European, in front of the mm. and some European ones. We know we yeah, love that yeah, on listen. the show as well. Big up to everyone getting involved in the comments. Um, let's talk about it then. Mm. Liverpool have just uh, dropped two points on the first day of the season. Fulham two, Liverpool two. An awful result if I'm, if I'm frank. A uh, few of you are watching the game with me. Um, thoughts? Metro's on fire. Your defense was terrifying. Mitchell's on fire. Your defense is terrifying. Mitchell's on fire. Your defense is terrifying. Mitchell's on fire. Brother! All them Premier League allegations that were there for this season for Mitchell, and they said, yo, biggest, one of the biggest sides in the Premier League, and one of the best defenses we're going to put in front of you, bro. That was a performance from Mitchell, I've got to say. Uh, I was very, very impressed with Fulham that. The lack of fear they showed to Liverpool as well. I thought maybe they would have given too much respect. I felt maybe if they come out trying to play football, they would probably get boxed off the park. But listen, they came hell and leather. Every contest, every 50-50, they were up and at them. And then I think Mitrovic kind of symbolised their effort today. And that second goal, brother. We'll, 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 we'll talk goal, about what, it. The penalty the, the, from listen, the dive. We can say <laughs> dive. Reach. All I saw was one of the... S all time Careful. slowest flip flaps. <laughs> 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 and man, that got sold like a market fish, bro. I was like, yo. But it is what it is, I think. Come on, lady. First game of the season. <laughs> <laughs> all right, that's a great callback. First game of the season, I don't think you can kind of get too low, I think. Mm. But Fulham will take a lot of positive from that, I think, for them. I think they've always been seen as that yo yo club like Norwich. Everyone's kind of thinking yeah. maybe could they go straight down? That's a good way to kind of register your first point in my the opinion. The last three times Fulham have come up, they've gone down straight away. Yeah. They had that 14-year unbroken, unbroken um, spell in the Premier League that they'll be hoping to recreate. Matisse, mm. it's not the end of the world though, is it? No, I mean, it's not. As banter aside, it's not the end of the world. Man City lost their opening game last season to Tottenham. Um, and we know there's going to be points dropped. I know people like to say, oh, you can't afford to even drop a point in this tight race. Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can. Because they do it. And then <laughs> it happens. And they still manage to go, you know, toe-to-toe -to, -toe to the end. So they're not winning every single game. Um, so, yeah, I think, I think for Liverpool, it's a little bit of a, a humbling experience for the Premier League, really, more so not just for Liverpool. Because everybody, I mean, when you look at that bottom six, you know, Fulham, all the teams that come up, and then even your Southamptons, your Brentfords, certain Everton, you look at those teams, you think, wow, we could, we could probably roll those over. But it just goes to show on the opening day, nobody's, nobody's having it. So it's serious. It's good. Yeah, in my preview to this game, Neeks, I said the uh, things that Liverpool have to consider is the promoted team coming up, the early kickoff, pretty much almost a new stadium. I know they've had a lot of work done to it. It hasn't yet been finished. But you add all these things together, the atmosphere of the fans, it was always going to be a tough game for Liverpool. I never thought this would be a walkover. I mean, you're a better man than me because I thought Liverpool were going to blitz this. Mm. I was thinking freeze, at least. Um, the way that you played against, I think going into the, maybe before the community show, that was a tough game. But the way you played against City, I thought, yeah, this team, they're ready. Yeah. But I think the Premier League, bloody hell, my eyes are burning me. 
Um, must be that mix of it. It's all right. Yeah. <laughs> God, no, no, but it, things it, will get better. It, it, in, all, in all honesty, I think, um, yeah, Fulham surprised me. It surprised me how good they were. I've got my eye on Marco Silva because he mm. he's a show that he's got talent as a coach. He did well for six months against uh, when he was at Hull. Moved on to Watford very quickly. Six months there looked good. Moved on to Everton quickly. And I thought. You're doing a bit of jump, too much jumping too around much jumping. as a coach. And then it kind of caught up with him at Everton. I think he was there for about 18 months or so and he got sacked. So he's kind of gone back down to build himself back up. And if this game is anything to go by, as Matisse said, this Premier League is going to throw up a lot more surprises like this because from minute one, and again, they even surprised me today because I thought there's no way they can continue like this for 90 minutes. But they kept going right, until the, right up until the end. Um, you know, of course, they're you know, backs against the wall at certain points against Liverpool. But they play their football for 90 minutes today. So it's two points dropped for Liverpool, but Fulham will take points off more yeah. uh, other teams than Liverpool yeah. this season. And I, think, I think in a World Cup year as well, where there's going to be a lot of rotation from the big clubs. They're all playing Europe, going in four or five competitions. You're expecting these lower league teams to be able to field their first 11 a lot more often. Yeah. And they're like fighting for their lives from day one. And you, you throw in a few new names yeah. as the season goes on, it's going to get more and more difficult. And I think so that's one thing Fulham this season have recruited differently to when they've come up last time, I think. I think last time they tried to sign 10 or 11 players. 100 million. And, 100 million and it kind of backfired because they had too much to break. And I think this time they've been a little bit more. I think Pereira from United looks like a decent pickup. Um, Palinia today looked decent Most in that midfield as well. Yeah. With seven uh, Bern Palinia. Leno looks like he could be a big signing as well. Mm. So some key upgrades, I think, in certain positions that could work for them. Yeah, I mean, listen, you have to give respect and credit to Fulham. Um, you know, they, they were at it. Right. Liverpool never really had control of the game, maybe apart no. from a 10-minute, 15-minute period in the second half. But when that first goal went in, Liverpool's heads dropped and it didn't take... It took uh, Nunes to come off the bench, get his first Premier League goal on his debut. Salah scores for six years in a row. The opening day is now equaled with Frank Lampard and Alan Shearer and Wayne Rooney as the players who have scored six uh, mm. on the spin. So listen, not a great result well, for Liverpool. Let's get into some of the comments. Of Nunes so far? <coughs> first two games, he's looked a handful coming yeah, up listen, both times. Is it, is it now time to start him? That's the word, a handful, I think. Um, he's come on today in half an hour. He scores and assists the equalising goal mm. that gets us a point. Yeah, listen, he could have maybe... Well, you say it's an own goal. It's, it's gone down as Nunes. Um, <laughs> so it will be his goal. But no, super impressed, if I'm honest. It was an improvement to, to Bobby Firmino in the first mm. half, who was non-existent, if I'm honest. Yeah. Massive, massive disappointment to see Thiago coming off again. Mm. Looks like a, a hamstring injury. Oh, and really? this guy just can't yeah, get a break absolutely. at the minute with hamstrings. I mean, you can't be surprised. We he, know when, he, when he joined normal. Liverpool, we knew about his Yeah, um, even at Bayern, he was picking up these injuries. I but, think... There's only a lot of reliance on Elliot and uh, Carvalho this yeah. season to step up. Because to see them both come on and play, I, I, I thought it, maybe it would be too early to see that, but we were kind of Klopp forced said, though, yeah. He's not worried about their age. He said, if they're good enough, they're go I'm going to play them type yeah. of thing. So I think that bit of fearlessness is what Klopp's going to need to lean into if Thiago's definitely going to have these issues. Mm. Mm, interesting. Um, big up to everyone who's getting involved. In the comments, a lot of anti-Liverpool chat. Let's get into it. Damn, Major T, how are you feeling, fella? Well, do you know what? I'm feeling very good because the Saturday football show is back. <laughs> Forget Liverpool for a second. Uh, no, I can't, actually. Um, Trent still can't defend, says Edvards. Um, in the end, a draw was a fair result, although the amount of chances Diaz had was criminal. Obviously, he hit the post. Henderson hit the bar in the last 30 seconds as well. Um, Alex going to be salty today, says Harley, MCFC. Um, thanks for that, mate. Um, Arsenal are going to win the league, says Perry Francis. Oh, God. Hopefully oh not, because if they do, I owe someone £10,000. Oh, my <laughs> goodness. I mean, that's safe. Don't worry yeah, about that. that is that's safe. safe. <laughs> <laughs> um, Denzel saying, Liverpool midfielders are way too injury prone. It's becoming more evident. Um, I guess that there's an argument for that. Is there also an argument, Liverpool fans? Do let us know in the comments. Is this today the last sign that we need to now go into the market and buy another midfielder? Curtis Jones out, Naby Keita out, Thiago injured today. I think that, that was obvious anyway. I mean, even Ox, Ox is injury Ox, prone. That, Ox like, as well. It's almost all of your injury, injury prone players are in midfield and that's where you expect Liverpool to be the most intense getting and press, covering for fullbacks that bomb forward. You can't be relying on How a 37-year-old Milner. Well, that's yeah. it. If, exactly. if you're bringing on Milner in the first game of the season... And Fabinho as well. Yeah, yeah, you know that there's some Fabinho, issues yeah. there. Because Milner shouldn't be coming on now. Milner, 
is it you, you know, should be Miller's getting phased out at this yeah point. exactly yeah. obviously we know he's signing a new contract but first game of season to chase a game he's bleep tests are higher but so listen he did come on and, it, and we he actually did play well when he goals. came on he mm, surprised he me yeah um, still the fittest person in the team so yeah, this 37 thing until he becomes the least fittest person in the team I don't think it's a valid argument because mm. he's you know he played in the community shield and then played 90 minutes against Strasbourg on Sunday and now plays and comes on at Fulham AGT Mudded says Timur Yassin uh, Mitrovic so underrated says Abdi and I think that's a, a good start for him to actually you know prove that he can do it listen the season's barely even started but <laughs> The fact that he's scored two already is, is a definitely a good start for Mitrovic, considering people thought that the 44 goals he scored in the championship last year might not relate or translate to a, you know, a bag of Premier League goals. Yeah. But he's, he's, he's on I his way he's already. He's scored Premier League goals before, but I think it's always been when he's come up with teams. It's yeah. always been kind of the question. Because even when he was at Newcastle, he had a little period, mm. I remember, where he was scoring. But... I don't know. It's good, so to, it's good it's a to get season. an early start as yeah. well. It's I a, it's a long think, season yeah. though, you know. I remember P- Pookie looking like he's going to take the golden boot. <laughs> <laughs> I, I never heard from him again. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Fulham are going to have days where they don't see the football. He yeah. only maybe gets one chance in a game. So it's a long yeah. season to go before he's um, shut up the doubters. But it's a good start. I'm one of those doubters. So uh, I'm, I'm still, same, same. Uh, yeah, so you know what I mean? So we'll, we'll see what happens. If he can get himself into double digits with Fulham, um, I think he's done a good job. So he's, do you he's think 10, 10, 10 should be the aim? I think he needs to aim for fifteen. Fifteen, because he's the he's the he's the, he's the main, main striker. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna go if he's fit, he should be playing 30, 38 games. Yeah. If he's fit. Yeah. How yeah. much did Tony get last year? Thirteen. Seventeen. In the league, no, yeah, so he no. didn't get so maybe, fir- maybe 12, thirteen. 13. He sh- and 12, he, twelve and a half. And that's Tony's first season in the yeah, Premier yeah. League with a Brentford True. side who's never come up before. Mitchell has to be aiming for 15. Do you think so? It's I not going to be easy, no. but that should be the aim. He's got 12 last year, Tony. And, if, if t- so and, yeah. and they're both on penalties. He's on, he's on penalties. Yeah. He I think, yeah, aim for, aim for that 12 minimum I in the league. 12, yeah. 12 is a good, good mark for him. Yeah, no, I'd agree. I think if he gets anything more than that, it's a bonus. But if we're saying he needs 10 at least, then he's 20% of the way there already. <laughs> 100%. Yeah. Quick yeah. maths. <laughs> um, let's look at the other... We will come back to Liverpool and what this result means, um, which isn't a lot, to be honest, at this stage of the season. But let's go into the other games that we've got today at 3 o'clock. Uh, Bournemouth at home to Aston Villa. Big start for Stevie G, who actually has planned a behind-closed-doors friendly with Liverpool tomorrow. And the under-21s yeah. are playing for Liverpool tomorrow. So who's playing in that game? Why it's still happening, I don't know. That needs to be cancelled ASAP. But you don't think you need a fitness? I mean, it's, it's, it's do we need mean. another opportunity for our players to get injured mm. in, in a <laughs> meaningless game? Another meaningless I he- game? I hear yeah. that, but there's a lot of bench players who probably didn't come on today who maybe haven't played many yeah, pre-season games. I suppose. So we haven't got a game until Monday, next Monday now, against mm. uh, Palace at Anfield. So, mm. yeah, I, I, I don't think know, that don't game know. should happen. But then we've got Leeds at home to Wolves. Newcastle at home to Nottingham Forest, their first Premier League game since the year 1999, I'm pretty sure. Um, Tottenham at home to Southampton, three o'clock kickoffs, and then obviously Everton versus Chelsea. We do have a live watch along for that on this channel at five o'clock as well. Robbie hosting that one. We've got Matisse as the Chelsea fan, and we've got Mike from Birmingham as the Everton fan. (laughs) Work that one out. Um, and then obviously tomorrow we've got Leicester, Brentford, United, Brighton and West Ham versus City, which we're also doing a live watch along for tomorrow too. Um, let's get into uh, Bournemouth starting 11 in goal. Travers, they've got Adam Smith, who's still playing mm. for Bournemouth <laughs> after Legend. some time. Spurs Youth Academy. I, is he? He must be getting on now. He's, he's <laughs> yeah. been playing for Bournemouth for years. Uh, Kelly. Uh, Mefam, Zamura, Lerma, Billing, Pearson, Solanke, Tavernier, and Moore up front there for Bournemouth. Solanke just signed the new deal as well, didn't Did he? Mm. Yeah. This is his. This, this has to his, be his year now. It's got a make or break year. Yeah. How old is he now? <coughs> Mid twenties at least. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 He's had a lot of chances. He's in the same age group as um, Tammy Abraham. Yeah. He's it's interesting to see the t- different directions those two players yeah, have gone. Considering sure. that in the youth academy, Abraham was playing out wide for Solanke playing oh, wow. on top. So. I think Probably made that that, that jump to, to Liverpool, Liverpool yeah, was, too a, early. was a little bit of Premature, a backwards yeah. step. Yeah. Didn't really make sense. Bournemouth was kind of the rebuild uh, process I think he's needed. Mm. This will be kind of the test of <coughs> can he handle it now? Can he handle it with the, the big Premier. dogs? Yeah, we'll otherwise, see. he'd be in the championship. That's that's it. It's I got think. the tools, I'll say that. Mm. Can he do it? It's it's just Scott, Scott, Scott Parker. Year. Scott Parker. Are they, is he Bournemouth's yeah, manager? Scott Parker's the gaffer. I worry for Bournemouth. I'm not going to lie. I think just reading that team out. 
nothing jumps out at you. Nothing at the, all but jumps out at you. Is that not what there. also kept them up last time? Because last time it, it seemed like it, it, they stuck to the core of what they what, came, what up, came with, up with. And then they would just sign these light skinned wingers. Lewis Brabham, <laughs> Jordan Ibe, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Zabon Hines, yeah. uh, every light skinned winger you could so think of, they were like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just come bring vibes. Wilson and Fraser. Um, <laughs> yeah, Fraser, Wilson yeah. and Fraser, yeah. yeah. So yeah. for me, I think if they can kind of follow the same formula, I don't know, but I, me- I mentioned Scott Parker does. I mentioned Scott Parker because yeah. obviously it was Eddie Howe. And uh, you, Eddie Howe wasn't proven at the time, but he's gone on to prove kind of what a good coach he is. Mm. Scott Parker has yet to prove at this level because he had Fulham. He had Fulham initially. He played decent with Fulham. He did. Decent he did football, good, but good football. In the end, it was. But they went down. He took over too late at Fulham. In Probably. terms of to stay up, trying to, to remember the exact dates that he re- arrived at. He de- they definitely played some good football, and yeah, they like they 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 definitely improved under him for sure. But Let's um, get into the Aston Villa lineup and then I will read out the super chats. Um, for Villa, Martinez, Cash at right back, Konza and Santos in the middle. Um, Diego, Santos Diego Silva. Carlos. Um, yeah, so that will be Diego oh, Carlos. Diego Carlos. Yeah, okay, yeah. I was thinking, where are yeah. we? Brazilians, they always throw in yeah. their surnames. <laughs> yeah, nah, <laughs> Let's awesome. get that replaced with Carlos in the future. Um, <laughs> so no Tyro Mings. No captain and no starting place for him in the first game of the season either. Advan- Advantage Villa. Long yeah. overdue, <laughs> maybe. Long Luca overdue. Dean at left back. In the middle, McGinn, Kamara and Felipe Coutinho with Jacob Ramsey, Bailey and Ings in those uh, three forward positions. Wow. That's a good team. Some big, some big names it in that team like there. a good team on paper. Yeah, it really does. Yeah, that, that sounds like they, play a nice they should be aiming for top. 10 this is that season. is that a diamond that makes you recommend to play then the way you said Jake money. and Ramsey um, yeah I mean Ramsey it seems unless you've got Coutinho on the left potentially I'm not sure yeah but he has played a bit deeper for them as well so it'd be interesting mm. to see how Villa line up um, Leeds versus Wolves uh, at Ellen Road a big game this for Leeds they really need to get off to a good start if they're to not only stay in the Premier League but obviously climb up those uh, table places as well let's see what their team is saying have we got that up? The Leeds team? Bamford. Anyone? <laughs> Millier. Um, yes, we do have it. We do have it. So, okay. Melier in goal, Christensen right back, Lorente and Kosh. Uh, it's cock, isn't it? That's how you say it. <laughs> With Stroik at left back, uh, Roca <laughs> and Adams in the midfield. A new central midfield pairing that for Leeds. Mm. Uh, Aronson, uh, Rodrigo, Harrison and Bamford. All these new names and they've still got Patrick Bamford up top. <laughs> <He'll be laughs> like he does get goals in the he Premier does. League. He yeah, does. Yeah. He's injured a lot. Um, yeah. In goal then for Wolves, we've got Saar, uh, Castro, Otto at right back. I think that's... Johnny, Johnny, Johnny Otto. Yeah, some mad names popping up today that aren't <laughs> their normal names. Um, Collins, Kilman and out Nuri at left back for Wolves. In the middle, Dendonka, Neves, Podence, Gibbs, White, Neto... And Hui Chan up front as well, the number 11. Um, I always thought that Neves was going to leave. Oh, he, that, he did yeah. the whole... And, and, and it's just been a Man United. Well, ceremony. Yeah. So his last game was at Anfield on that last day of the season. And Matt Cooper, who is the Wolves fan, said he, that's him waving goodbye. Yeah. The thing so is, that's I a big boost. No? I don't Come think in. any club has the budget okay. of what Wolves How much are demanding. Really Wolves are demanding Wolves a million asking of crazy money. Okay. Okay. Min- yeah. Minimum of 70. And I don't think, I think clubs are looking at De Jong, who's available for 65. Well, that I, I blame, fighting that's over. why I blame Barcelona. And because going to the summer, nobody was planning for De Jong, you yeah, know. Exactly. And that's De Jong was supposed to be I on the market. I feel like yeah. whoever misses out on De Jong, De Jong will go for the Neves. other one is going to go for Neves. Yeah. And it's going to be a late scramble where he might get ruled out of the market because Wolves will see how think He's not worth 70 million. Listen. He's not, but then there's Kukure, a lot of players Kukure who are sixty million. Worth, yeah. Richarlison yeah. ain't worth sixty million, but you have to Kukure pay the fee. Don't get him started with Richarlison. Good players. <laughs> good players. <laughs> good players. <laughs> I was gonna say it, but I'm glad he said it. <laughs> I was no, listen, they're good players, but they're just not worth that fee. But you have to pay it if you want the player. Yeah. Like the market, mm. it's a it's a seller's market. Yeah, it's, the a, market. it's a mad market. It is. It is. Uh, right, massive season this for the Geordies, the Toon Army. How do they start against uh, Forest? You've got Pope in goal. Um, his Premier League debut, you've got number two, recently changed his number from 12 to two, I think, Trippier, mm-hmm. or 16 to two, I think it was. Uh, Shah, Dan Byrne, the big man at the back, uh, Matty Target, left back. And then in that midfield, uh, Willock starts a Premier League game for Newcastle, which has been hard to come by for him. Gamirej and Joe Linton, who carries mm. on that midfield berth uh, that he's kind of <laughs> created for himself in the last year or so. Unbelievable turn of fortunes for him. And then up front, St. Maximum. Callum Wilson starts for Newcastle. Injured so long last season. Finally gets 
uh, back on the team sheet, and Al Miron. Mm. I, I mean, again, another player. I thought he would have gone. Fresh, I, I fresh from getting New, dissed on the City Parade. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I thought Newcastle was were going to do a classic, was, right? Classic um, new money, oil boys, <laughs> buy out everybody, a whole new 11. Maybe, you know, Bruno Gamera stays in there. Sent Maximum, maybe John Linton, everybody else screwed bro like but they, they're just yeah. they're who's calm. on the bench though I, I, for I'm, I'm disappointed have a look. <laughs> I'm disappointed you wanted a FIFA I'm career act, mode not even a FIFA bottom, career mode but I expected bench, one bro. or two can, maybe a Paqueta yeah just something yeah, 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 to show yeah. me alright we want to take that next step too similar to Bruno step. though Paqueta I'd say hey him and, him and Bruno used to play together. They used to play together, yeah. Like, but then Joel Linton would have to be the holding midfielder. That's what I get. Yeah, the freedom yeah. All three of them, all Brazilian. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah. That's yeah. Samba, man. Yeah. 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 yeah, 100%. But they're not. They're instead, Copa even Cabana Botman. Look at the bench, then. like. Even Wood. Botman on the bench. Fraser so and Wood. Well, this, is the, this is the thing, right? Their bench Richie. is impressive. Sven Botman, the new centre-back signing, on the bench, number four. Lascelles, Richie, Wood, Fraser, Murphy. It's not bad. And don't forget, guys, five subs. Yeah. This is one yeah. of the big topics Even we're going to talk about today, but five people. subs yeah. now. Uh, for Nottingham more. Forest, then, let's have a look at this because, like I said, 23 years since they've been in the Prem. Dean Henderson, mm. the self-confident, self-loving <laughs> goalkeeper that has been <laughs> thrown to the back of the park at United. He's picked up by Forest. Nico Williams takes the number seven. For Nottingham Forest. Who would have thought Inspired by Cancelo, must me. be, yeah, isn't it? Inspired by Cancelo. King <laughs> full back. Yeah, but Cancelo plays like it. So. Premier League, Champions League winner, oh Nico God. Williams, uh, starting right. Sorry? I said, oh, God. Yeah. Champions oh God, League winner. Right. <laughs> fist back. Fist <laughs> fist fist. Yeah. Um, he's number seven at right wing back. What I do want to ask you boys later on in the show as well is, is about the shirt numbers. You know I'm a massive shirt number fan. Yeah. And I want to get your thoughts on some of the big shirt number changes that we've had already this season, i.e. Cancelo. Yeah. Um, <laughs> in the back then, the first time I've uh, seen this three at the back, Nikate, number 19, 26, McKenna, and Worrell, uh, number four, who's playing the left centre-back role with Tofolo at the left wing-back. Jesse Lingard mm. starts his first game for Forest, number 11, Colback. That's not Again. Jack Colback, is it really? It, it must Jack be. Colback. It has Lord to be. Of mercy. <laughs> Sunderland. <laughs> Sunderland, oh, Newcastle. <laughs> wow. The Rolling back the yeah. years with that one, aren't we? Do you know what? We're seeing a few names that are <laughs> popping up from like the 2010-11 season. Right now. <laughs> so it's Jesus. great to see. Uh, O'Brien as well in the midfield, and then up front Johnson and Surridge. I thought that was Sturridge. I did Swear. as well. It's Sam no, <laughs> Surridge, not Sturridge. Um, let's see who they've got on the bench as well for us for their first game in the Prem. Um, no one that I've heard of. That's not Melango. That's that's that Wayne Hennessy. That's your UK. Yeah, Liverpool. Talking about he went to the Bundesliga. Which was number? tearing it up. Number, uh, nine. number nine. That's not Mengala, is that's, it? That's that's Elia Queen Mangala. No, you're, no, it's no, it's it can't be. No, it's not. No. Like, it can't no, be. No, There's no way. No way. Elia Queen Mangala. 2015. The from City. City from Porto. That's not the same. It can't be. It can't be. Don't play with me. Oh no, he's he's playing. Where's that man going? I told you. I told you. He's at Saint Etienne. He should be in your full manager team. What are you talking about? Wow. Yo, he's like, yeah, 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 he, he is. is, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll release him. I knew he weren't up for us, man. Come on, that would be wild. There you no go. Chance. Let's get into the Tottenham versus Southampton team. Uh, Hugo Lloris in goal. Kristen Romero has just gone from number four to 17, which I really don't understand if you're a centre back, if <laughs> I'm honest. His favorite number. Uh, number 15, Dyer Davis. Again. Dyer and Davis. I didn't mm. think they'd be starting for Spurs I, this Dyer, season. Mm. Dyer, if you were watching last year, was getting England calls. So he's definitely starting. England, England calls from Spurs lot, fans. Bro. What does that mean? Only, only from Spurs fans. Sorry. 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 Come on. I'm, I'm, I'm my brother, just, my brother I'm Mings. just telling you. Mings. Tyro, Tyrone Mings is getting England calls, bro. What does exactly. that mean? Why he should be ahead. <laughs> what does that mean? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Davis as well. I'll give him his dues since Conte came in. He was actually very solid in that position. Now and here's we one. were meant to get a marquee. Here's one you might not want to hear. Emerson playing right wing back. Hey, uh, come on. La, 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 fingers la. in his ears for that one. Uh, Hjoiberg, Benton Kur, and Sessignon as the left Leading. wing back. We know so Leading. clearly now that Conte loves playing with the wing backs. Kulisevsky uh, and Son both playing in that central attacking position behind Harry Kane. How do you uh, feel about that one? It, as expected, to be fair, um, I would have wished the wing backs were a little bit different with Perisic starting and maybe Spence give us some of the new boys from straight in. But Basuma I guess he's bench. kind of been yeah, working the with. Yeah, yeah. Basuma's on bench as well. He had a carrying a little knock from oh, preseason. Okay. So the double change of when him and Perisic come on, that'll be exciting. But other than that, I'm still looking at the Spurs team and I've said. 
I feel like a lot of the signings we made, we could have got even without the Champions League football. So it's not really moving this mm. window oh, so you're far. You're the first, first fan. I'm so in, in my eyes, I, I'm still looking at the next two weeks of this window and to see how we play in these kind of early fixtures. Because Southampton, I know people are looking at easy three point. No way. I, I don't think it will be as easy as people think. So be let's just get another we'll look see. at that Tottenham bench. I mean, some of the p- names on there: Doherty, Sanchez. Brian Gill still yeah. knocking about. <sighs> Perisic, Foster, Foster, sorry, Spence, new signing, Lucas, Longley, Ambisuma. You've got pretty much all your new signings not starting today. Yeah. Yep. And, Where's and Richarlison as well? Pre- he's suspended for oh, the first game. Cool. Um, <laughs> oh, fr- the flair, isn't it? These, a lot of these players weren't even involved in the preseason tour. Forster had COVID. Um, Langley had was signed too late. Basuma had a knock. It's mad Perisic numbers had a knock. Well, so. Man. Yeah, 38 for Bissouma. And then what you've still got that? guys like Doherty, <laughs> Sanchez and Mora, who for me should have all been up for sale this summer, along with guys like La Celso and Dombele. Yeah. What about Reg- Gil? You signed Gil last summer. Gil was another one of those, I think him and Matai Saar, they're looking at, can they play a role? Because mm. they were signed last year, loaned yep. out, had kind of iffy loan spells. I think Gil was probably more decent. Yeah. But if we loan them out again this year, for me, I'm looking at it like, do we even have a plan for these youngsters that we've mm. spent 25, 30 mil on? Mm. There's no kind of plan, it seems like. And when are we going to incorporate them? So, in my opinion, I'd like to keep him. For yeah. depth. I think yeah. he's got something about him. But it's a case of if Conte doesn't see him useful, yeah. what are we doing here? You, you, you mentioned potentially, you're saying selling more. That would have been a replacing or just selling, get rid of Just get rid Because Ber- some, Ber- Ber- Bergvine's already gone. If like you got rid of him, what's the... I feel like, but this is where I feel like players like Memphis Depay are available. Yeah, go and I'll get rid of Bergwijn. Go and get rid of Mora. Go and get me Depay. Mm. Do you know that's you an immediate him. upgrade. You, I, and I don't care if you have to sell Depay the illusion of, yeah, we're going to start you, but then you sit him on bench for six months. <laughs> 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 six months up, yeah. Yeah, but yeah, this yeah. is what I'm willing to do to just have quality options, in my opinion. Mm. If you're going to have Richarlison and Depay and Gil as your front three replacement, I'll take that. That's decent. That's yeah. an upgrade on what we've had in the last yeah, couple yeah, of years. Definitely, but definitely. It's a case of you have to make those kind of moves uh, at the same time. Mm. I mentioned some of the big boys that you've signed on the bench today. Number 24, Jed Spence. Hasn't actually played in the Prem yet. Obviously, Middlesbrough and Forest. How do you think he's going to play this season, just before we get into the Saints lineup? The The only slight issue I had with the signing of Spence was it's a project. It's a little bit like Sessegno, where I said he's got to adapt to Conte system. He's got to adapt to the Premier League. And... He's got to do all of that as quick as possible yeah. while replacing Emerson, while replacing Doherty. And it's like, has he bitten off more than he can choose? So for me, it's a case of I hope he can make that jump. But I've always said this season, I felt like right wing back, left centre back were two positions that I felt like you had to sign ready-made, proven talents. Something like you did what you did with Perisic and Basuma. Mm. We didn't do that. And now we've gone this young route. I hope he can build into that. And Emerson can hopefully have a second season improvement to give us a little bit of balance between the two while he settles in. But what about Doherty, though? Doherty had a decent end to the season and then he picked up an injury. And, 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 and uh, here's yeah. the so thing. Do you know what? Doherty year. for 18 months was arguably one of the worst Spurs players to ever put on a Spurs shirt. Facts. <laughs> and he was given ample opportunity to make that position his own in the back four and in the back five. When Conte finally came in, he gave us a spell of form where you thought, do you know what? Maybe he could play a part. Then he got the big injury. Mm. Now we're here again this season and we've got three right wing back position, three players for that position. None of them really, for me, are, are nailed cemented, on. nailed on yeah. for that position. And that's what worries me in all yeah. words. Yeah. Uh, right, Southampton, just before we get underway in the three o'clock kickoffs, their team, uh, Bazunu in goal. Never heard of him. Number 31. Listen, They've obviously Young sold Irish Forster. prospect, I'm mm. telling you. Okay. Is this killing it at Portsmouth last year? My Irish friend tells me a lot about him. He's meant to be like a wonder kid, and this is this is going to be his breakout year, apparently. How okay. old is he? Uh, I think like 21 or something like that. Big um, risk. Yeah. Walker Peters at right wing back, Valerie Salisu and Bednarek at, uh, wow. you know, three and the five at the back at the middle. Very strange numbers there as well. Maybe it's You really can't handle yeah, these <laughs> numbers, <laughs> 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 The 43 is mad still. The 43 is wild. I'm not going to lie. It's wild. Is it just me? No, it's wild. He the number seven, if I'm not mistaken, last year as well. I don't remember. It's crazy. Gineppo, 19. Ward-Prowse, Romeo, who's still playing. He's been around the Premier League for a while now. And Lavia, 
in the midfield as well. Uh, up top, you've got Adam Armstrong, number nine, and uh, Ayudeli Aribo, number seven, is up it, front for the Saints. Is it just me, yeah, or is the bottom six, there's just names? Names. It's Hella just names. names. Like, you have to Hella go names. deep into FIFA career mode to see some of these names. You know when, when the, the, <laughs> the picture is just blank and it's but just I love great, this, man, yeah, and it just I love gives this. you a random name? You know, I feel like I've transformed into, like, 20, 30 or something. I don't know any of these brothers. Yeah. It's crazy. On the bench, McCarthy, Stevens, uh, Adams, Redmond, Perros, Sean, no, uh, Stuart Armstrong, El Yanusi, Diallo, and uh, Bella Kochak. <laughs> I'm going to say ketchup. <laughs> yeah, I had to read it carefully. Um, right, we're very close to having the first kick three o'clock kickoffs happen in the Prem um, mm. this season. They have kicked off, in fact. Um, get your predictions in. I have taken all of these guys' predictions for the three o'clock <laughs> kickoffs, which I will reveal to you at the end. Trust me, we've got them all written down. Um, Trent is number 66 and AGT is here moaning. Thank <laughs> you, bro. <laughs> He's uh, got a point. Well, that was the number that was given in to him in the academy. Yeah, and he just, just never left the it. Carragher said, don't change it. Um, Depay going to Juventus, reckon ZZ. Could be, make sense. That would make sense for you. They've been looking okay. for a forward all summer. Yeah, they but then that, that two comments before that, he says mm. the pie to Spurs. So who, who, who is it? That's the well, when you were supposed to be linked with, but they linked with Morata, wasn't it? Who? Yeah, Juve. linked and and Again, for yeah, Morata yeah, is yeah. a money. Yeah. He's a money laundering He's scheme. Money. 100%. <laughs> Him yeah. and um, the and Hulk slightly. Not Hulk. Well. Um, Chipper Moting is it? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. No, but Chipper Moting is a goal free at constantly. Bournemouth. It's Wait. the first Ooh. goal. In the three oh o'clock kickoffs, oh. Aston Villa already one nil down, and it's Jefferson Lerma who Columbia. puts the cherries in Viva head Columbia. against Villa. Mm. Big start for Bournemouth. Big season and, and for I was, Stevie I was, G. It's, it's massive, massive. Because last year, if I'm correct, that wasn't him and Lampard's record not too, too dissimilar. dissimilar. Facts. But obviously, and, 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 and Lampard walked into a much tougher situation uh -huh. than, so than he did at speaking. Villa. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know what the thing is, is? Listen, v Villa got on, got business will, done man. very early I this, said, this summer. So, remember, as soon as the trans, as soon as the season finished, they had already signed someone. I think it was the Diego Carlos. Yeah, it's a it's a massive season. The but thing you, is, you that, left I said that when Rangers. Gerard took yeah. over from Rangers. Yeah, I said he left a comfortable job where he's competing for titles in Europe every year, and he can actually build a four or five year legacy where yeah. he CV. restored them to past to glories yeah. if you like and really I felt like he made the title. villa jump a little bit too early I was surprised and now it's when a, he took that job yeah because it's okay I've said what are Villa's ambitions are they really good enough to mix in the top six no mm. can they really push for those European spots I don't know but they're spending like they're in the big six and that's yeah. the thing is yeah. at, so at that at some point there's going to be pressure where it's like alright you've spent 200 million and your record is no better than Frank Lampard who's in a relegation zone yeah, what are we well, doing listen, here? They're playing so, each other next week, Villa yeah, Everton, yeah. so yeah. we will see. You don't want it Everton 2.0 with Villa, where they spend think, all this money, get nothing out of it, and then just But you look at fall. Villa's squad, and they've got the potential. You can see it there. Like, Ings had a really down year last year, which was unexpected, yeah. I think. I yeah. think when Dia was there, record signing, very underwhelming. Yeah. Coutinho came in late. They've got Disappeared pieces at one there. Point. Yeah, they've got yeah. pieces there where you think, if they really put it together, they can do something, but can they? They need the right manager. Leon for Bailey, me. let's not forget him as well, right wing. Injured yes. all last Without season. Him. So it's like, I feel like they've got some key pieces. I think they could be a surprise package this year, but that's not well, the thing is, there's a, there's, a, <laughs> there's a number of teams who have to be looking at, we need to be pushing for that seven, the Europa Conference yes. League position. Yep. So obviously West Ham are pushing for top six yep. if they can. They may yep. end up seventh. You've got Newcastle yep. because of just because of the, the investment yep. that's yep. coming yep. to the club. Uh, Leicester by right they should be up there but we'll see Leicester in trouble by time, yeah, by say, last year I feel like was un, not spoken about enough and their summer this summer that's what I say, by yeah, time this summer is done they could be in be a problem for top half because yeah, Rafana right. could go yeah, yeah. Tiedemans could go Madison obviously Shemaika's already gone Madison yeah. and um, Madison Madison could go I don't think they'll lose all of them but no even the but, but they need to replace and they haven't signed anyone so they haven't signed anyone already and they could lose some of those players so we're talking so I'm saying Newcastle I wouldn't even have Leicester. Uh, Leicester. No, but I'm saying Leicester should be aiming for... Yeah. Leicester were, was aiming for top four just a couple of years ago. Mm. So they can't be like, oh, when I was going to consolidate 15th. Wolves need to be aiming for there. Um, Aston Villa need to be aiming up there. Brighton finished ninth last year. So if we're talking about progression... I think there's going to be a gap, a serious gap between... when you, when you you After Newcastle, that's where I would have left it. 
all them other teams there for me, there'll be a gap. There'll be like a nice I'm, ten point gap as well. You know how it was uh, last year. You think year? the top but six or seven will break away this year? Then? I think top top eight or nine, and then the rest of them gap. Yeah. I don't know, so the, you know, because so Palace, the Palace are gonna be, scrap is will be very, very big. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think you should have thrown Palace in there over um, Leicester, really. Mm, interesting. Oh, I'm not even saying where they're, like I'm not saying where they're gonna finish, but they have to be. <laughs> Yeah, at least, where, where did Palace finish last vibes. year? They need, to, they need to get their finishing like boots on. 12? Say that again, sorry. 12, where did yeah. Palace finish last year? Yeah, I don't know. I think there's gonna be a gap. I think the relegation battle this year is gonna be huge. It's gonna be like a seven, eight teams. Let's get into some wacky super races. chats. I know people have been <laughs> sending them in. Big up to Cheryl Zamar who says swap Salah with Mane, and that game is Liverpool lose two 0 or two one. Wolves have scored. Very lucky Prudence. they kept it, and it's a goal. Prudence. For Wolves, Daniel Podence has scored it. Away at Ellen Road, massive, massive goal out for Wolves. Matisse. Mm, big goal. That's a big goal. He's a very good player. I've seen very a lot small. of him. Very small, very agile, good dribbler, good close control, creative. But he never seems to get high numbers in that Wolves team. He hasn't really... Him him and know, Neto, I feel like, if Neto on. can stay fit, yeah, yeah they, they need, need to, to keep have on. big, big seasons, seasons yeah, for Wolves to actually be that seventh place club yep. that they used to be. Because mm. I think even him in his last year, his goals took a hit, obviously yeah, coming back from that big engine still. injury. And he's not starting today. Yeah. yeah. So uh, it could be a change. I think it he's could out be a change. for a couple of months. Again. Jimenez, really? yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, big up to months. Jack Burton, big Newcastle I fan in the chat, who says, Sven Botman, do you know what he's worth? Sven Botman is the best on earth. Well, he's on the bench today. <laughs> <laughs> best, best on your bench. Best on your bench. Ibi B. Uh, with a super chat, Saliba plays in the what Prem and Van Dyke concedes a penalty in two goals. Come on, coincidence. Wow. Boy. I Boy. think Boy. Not serious, you know, this boy they're saying like there's a new aura, man. Can, we, can, we talk about, can we talk about that game, right? Saliba outstanding, mm -hmm. cleaned up, looked after Ben White yeah. when he got that yellow card. Man of the match. No, 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 no. And no, Ben no, White no. now can go right back after. I was going to say, but you got to give Ben White his. You do have to give him. He locked up Zaha in that first half. Hundred percent. But he's the old. He's the older guy, and he's the most expensive guy. And Saliba for me has already taken his position and shoved him at right back. Wow. I don't. I don't see Ben White recovering. You know, honestly, though, taking that position. Arsenal, a lot of Arsenal fans were saying though they should have never signed Ben White in the first place mm, because of had Saliba. Had Saliba. Saliba is that and it good. was one of those where. Now it's your. It, I think you'd rather be left in a position like this, where Liverpool almost have four depth. quality centre backs. Yeah, You've got the depth. Free. You've five. got Tomiyasu still there. Mm. Five, Do you know five. what I mean? So it's it's it's, it's, it's a good it's a good option. And uh, Don't disrespect Nat Phillips like that. Yeah, I, I wouldn't. Oh I would, come on! Free, free, free hey. Do you know? <laughs> the bar, did you see the two debutants? Because I thought. They were like almost Jesus, little, Jesus looking spicy. Yeah, yeah. Like he's, he's looking like he's going to be a real. Half, he's not bro, there's a couple of them where he was the strength, the technique, good. Zinchenko well. was okay. I on on like, the ball, he was good, but yeah, off defensively, the listen, hey. in that second half, it was a ball over the top. There was a moment he, they had him looking like Cellini. Yeah. Like Saka, you know, <laughs> shirts. I was like, hey, but also, Arsenal's bench. I know they had a few players missing. Tommy Asu wasn't there. Um... And I think maybe one other that's that's a, uh, usually in there, but their bench is, is weak. Listen, great. I think what we saw yesterday, and Did Arsenal fans can correct me. No, no, Vieira, that's the of one. Yeah, of course Vieira. they won. Mm. But I think yesterday, I think some Arsenal fans kind of brought, got a bit brought down to earth to say, you know what? I think they knew Palace We're not as players, good though. as we thought. They were falling up against Pretty Sevilla, soon. and they're got thinking, them, yes. yeah, we're going to be, we're going to finish top three. I think they know Palace is a difficult game, know. though. So I think there's a balance to it. Because if you go to Palace away on the first game, opening night, Friday, you, you know that's those, not easy. Yeah, those yeah. types of games, you just want to get in. Yeah, get out, so I think it's, a, I think it's yeah. a good result for Arsenal. But then, the, depth, the depth is very mad. But I have to mention Anderson at centre-back. Oh, he was brilliant. Yeah. Unbelievable. He was Switching brilliant. play... Playing through the girl, he, I'm not gonna lie, dragged him down in the end. He didn't have a great game, but mm. Anderson was quality. And if Anderson, <laughs> like hype. Anderson was brilliant last, last. You wish you had our academy. <laughs> um, Anderson was brilliant last last year. If Anderson has a year like he did last year, and he keeps playing the way he started, he he's getting a big transfer mm. because he's just that good. To be fair, he was well. linked with a lot of them when he was moving to Palace because I remember he was linked to us as well. And I don't think any club was willing to take that gamble because mm. he just got relegated just, with Fulham. Yeah. But he was still playing the same because I think he joined him in January, wasn't okay, it? Okay, yeah. And then he was wicked for Fulham. Palace took the gamble on him. Yeah. I thought last year he was wicked. Yeah. As you said, big move is definitely due. If he plays, ground, if he keeps though. that up. Oh, reminds the reminds of play, me of a little man. bit of Toby or the viral, I can't lie. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. a couple years ago. yard balls just switching, switching. So comfortable doing it as well. Yeah. No, we like to see it. Um, it was a good start for Arsenal. Obviously, Palace will will still do well this season without question. Um, how are we looking in the Tottenham game for you, Ad? I know we're about eight minutes in. Jammy at the moment. Can't really string anything together. Haven't really had any chances either side. 
You're just waiting for the counter attack, yeah? No, 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 no. We're, we're, we're trying to keep the ball, to be fair. But nothing seems to be coming off. Bazunu looking very comfortable first 10 minutes. Damn, there's a lot of triggered Arsenal fans in the comments. There is. Of my, uh, <laughs> there is. <laughs> yeah, it, doesn't, it doesn't take a People lot there, does People saying that Leeks can never give Arsenal any credit. I can, I can never praise Arsenal. So I can only it. praise Arsenal if it's to trash another rival team. So I'll <laughs> praise Arsenal <laughs> to get at Chelsea <laughs> or Liverpool. But in, I, boys, yeah. in since, isolation, since sorry. Since it's opening day of the season, I feel like it, it would be nice to do some um, predictions throughout the stream. I don't know about you lot. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Let's, yeah, start, sure. let's start off with a nice one. Mm. Golden boot, where are we going? Mm. Where does the golden boot end up this year? <sighs> I'm sticking easy. with my it's earlier it's suggestion Mo, of Salah. Yeah. Mo. Mo. Salah. Yeah. Mo. I, listen, I think... Three out of five. Darwin Why are you guys so surprised? Darwin, Darwin oh, Nunes, cool, Nunes cool. is nice. Haaland is nice. But but they don't... They, I know, you want Son, you want I Kane. Yeah, Darwin, Ka- For me, deal. Kane will drop into the deeper Bro, roles. He'll do that playmaker score, thing really. again. It will drop off some of his goals. Son, he's definitely within a shout. Go. Go! 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 Oh, it's that a goal! Oh. Ten minutes in. Ooh, oh, that's nasty. Oh, that's <laughs> nasty. <laughs> 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 Wowza. James Ward. James Ward. Prowse. He's I bet it's a free kick. Let's, it has yeah, to be. If he scored anything other shortly. than a free kick, this is not the Premier League. Wow. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> Unbelievable start from Southampton. 12 minutes in. They are 1 0 up. Oh, I said it weren't going to be easy. Wow. <laughs> North London. Talk us through what's happening there. Yeah, talk us through it through Adam. That's why you would. So they've had us camped in our half right now. Balls on the edge, scrambling. Oh, yep, it's a half volley, edge of the box. Mm. Ward Prowse, lovely finish. I can't even lie. A punt on him I can't even lie. Now nah, he's too loyal out, to Southampton. Yeah. He's been priced out. Great finish he's though. So expensive. What are they well. saying, like sixty or something? Yeah. Liverpool maybe? I don't know. Um, Seems like your kind of deal. It's a good, uh, it's a good thought. I, like I would have him there because I, f- I feel like his set See? pieces alone. Nothing yeah, so yeah. And people turn their nose up at him, but four. if you surround him around better players, I, I, I would actually he, genuinely want to see what he does. Yeah, exactly. Well, yeah. Um, it's not like Southampton have Emerson been heavily invested cooked. in over the last hey, few years. Hey. Has, has he been? Emerson um, again? <laughs> has, hey, he been hey. over, has he been? I remember when I mentioned. I remember when I mentioned on this very channel. In the transfer shows that Emerson, Royale, going backwards, going forwards is a liability for Tottenham. And everybody's telling me, oh, no, he can defend. He just can't go forward. I, I'm I've waiting told to see them, it. Can't defend, I'm waiting to see. Can't dribble. Can't cross. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, the basics of football is what the Spurs is missing. No football IQ. Look at this. Oh, my God. Hey, oh, <laughs> you know, that, that's your boy that can defend, yeah? Oh, Oi, God, Lord. Great goal. Did you see? They sat him down. That is a great goal from James Ward-Prowse. Emerson Royale getting... Cook mm. like a chicken royale. Like yeah. Chicken, chicken uh, royale, man. I'm telling you. Chick king. Other Tottenham chicken Irish. shops. Other yeah. chicken shops. Damn. Damn. It's actually shut that now. Oh, yeah. That's, yeah. that's, that's your that. boy. That. You, you need to sub on Doherty, bro. That can't yeah, happen. Yeah, had not happy. Um, mm. So anyway, going back to your question, bro. You tell me who the golden boot winner is going to be. <laughs> James Wood <laughs> we got things to focus on, yeah? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> listen, this isn't how listen, this show listen, works. Listen, listen. It might be 1-0 down here, but I'm telling you now, Harry Kane golden boot is coming. Is that what you're saying? And a 25 Goal minimum with chest, wow. with chest. I'm telling Ooh, you, I feel like Kane's gonna decibels? have one of those seasons. I'm sorry, what I've been seeing the way he's hungry leading into this season. I'm expecting, watch in this game, I'll, I'll expect him to do something. Oh, and it's James Ward Prowse of his famous golf swing celebration. Cooked. Looks over to took one out of Bellamy's book, innit? Mm. That's, yeah. why, that's yeah. why they fit yeah. perfectly at Liverpool, then, isn't it? <laughs> I'm telling you, 100%. No, about golf Listen, clubs. first 10 um, minutes, I feel like this is the wake up call we need. So, I Harry think every. Kane, Mo Salah, yeah. Mo Salah. I'm going Salah. Okay. Um, but mm. I, listen, I think yeah, Harry Kane's gonna have a better season. Than I, I think. I think. Yeah. I think. Remember, listen, last year he got 17 seasons. goals. Yeah. And he wasn't even there for the f- till coming out the first half of the season. Yeah. True. Because he didn't want to be there. True. Yeah. But um, I can't. I can't trust him to stay fit as well. I think he always picks last up like two a little seasons, niggle. Last two seasons, cut. he hasn't picked up a single big. Has he injury. not? No. He'll get. Nope, he'll he'll play thirty plus games. Is that ankle okay? Because the World Cup's coming up to you. Last two seasons, zero. Back to back games. The reason why I'll, I'll still keep Salah is because there's no World Cup for Salah. He's gonna have a nice Christmas rest. That's a, that's mm. a good show. So mm. I think for me, something to consider for yeah. sure. I and think Har- I Harland think as well. No World Cup for Harland. Mm. But I think Har- I think Harland. It's gonna take time I think to Pep, Pep loves the rotation too mm. much. I ain't seen a golden boot for a Pep team in in, in donkeys years. So I'm true. gonna leave that one. That is true. Um, well, let's do golden gloves. Ooh, he oh. He's trying to redeem himself. That is that him? I think that might be a penalty. You know? Who that? Is that, no, is that him? Dive. Uh, no, no, no. It's, it's not dive. a 12. It's not a pen. 
It's not it's a, a free kick. So it's a dirty dive. Oh, is it? Yeah. We'll book him then. Is that him trying to redeem himself? That's the uh, uh, No, that is poor for you, lad. That is poor. Golden Glove. Alison Becker for me. Who are we going with? I'm going Alison. Ederson. I'll go Ederson. I had Alison. Okay. On this very channel, I can't change my mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I respect it. Uh, most assists. Didn't Who's do this one. Oh, most assists Ooh. this season. Let's not Ooh. forget last season it was Trent. Mm. Well, now they've got. There's a Salah, and now they've got a the Nunes factor as well. Those crosses mm. from. Salah could get. Salah, Salah could, could get a lot of assists. There, you know. Yeah, he could. Because, because, of because Nunes because is there. Because of Nunes, yeah, for sure. Uh, KDB, because KDB, of... Trent, Robbo. You know what? I'm going well. Kane. 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 I'm going Kane. Okay. Yeah, Interesting. I'm going Kane. I respect it. Few ad? Who? Assists. Oh, KDB. KDB? There's, there's no debate in that one. I'll be honest with you. I think Kane, as much as I think he'll get his numbers, I think this season is more of a... Kane needs to prove he's a goal scorer again. I think everyone's just fallen yeah. into this. Oh, he's a deep line creator now. Now I think you'll want to prove this season that. Nah. Sonny, well done for the golden boot last year, but <laughs> mm. it's I'm time back. for me to share back on the front. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Type share of thing, yeah. Boot. Um, but yeah, it's tough. Um, who? Do I'm gonna you go with Trent just because I think I think he's won. Ooh, I think between yeah. him and Robbo, yeah. they're both I one assist away from becoming the highest ever uh, Premier League. Sisters that are defenders. I would like to switch it and, 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 and say Robertson, but his crossing isn't good, as good as Trent. I'd probably stay, say with Trent as well because he's going to play every game. Every game. Yeah. He's like, you don't have any other right back that's even near him. I know Ramsey's just signed, but. All Liverpool players you're going with then. Because you guys don't, I don't really see you guys rotating as much as Pep, and I know you're going to be one of the top two teams. So I mm. think it's only logical to go with you guys for a lot of that. And I haven't named any injury prone players. Trent stays fit. Mm. Um, his, he's always throwing crosses into the box. Ta he's on free kicks on corners. So it just makes sense. He's, he okay. spams crosses for fun. So Who do who's you And who's going to win the league? I know we, we've asked this and we'll speak about it as every game week in the Premier League. But who's going to win it? I think thing. City. City. <laughs> <laughs> so after I've said Liverpool I've got, everything, I'm going to tell you City Liverpool. for that. I think it's probably Liverpool's best chance, in my opinion. I think Pep's done a lot of changes with losing Zinchenko, Jesus, Sterling, potentially Bernardo as well. And I'm not, aside from Haaland, I haven't seen the changes coming in. So I'm thinking, is this Alvarez. a year where Liverpool can kind of be like, you know what, we can capitalise. And if Nunes comes in, gives something new, it could be interesting. Mm. Hmm. Let us know in the comments. Do you agree? Do you disagree with these um, predictions? Let's get you a 15, 20 minute roundup in the Prem. Uh, still, Bournemouth 1, Aston Villa 0, Leeds trailing at home to Wolves 1 0, Newcastle and Forest 0 0, and Tottenham are lead. Sorry, they're being led at home by the Saints, Southampton. Um, who do you think is the signing of the season? Um, who's it going to be? I mean, we'll do the signing of the season and then I think a prediction for. A surprise player would be uh, would be good as well. Mm. So signing of the season, who who's it going to be? I think I've got two in my opinion. I don't I don't know if there'll be one. Sterling I think could be a massive one for Chelsea okay. in the sense of they've been crying for an attacker who's going to contribute goals, and if he brings that to them and pushes them or even keeps them where they're at, mm. I think a lot of Chelsea fans would be kind of grateful for that. The other one is Lisandro Martinez oh, at United. I'm glad you, I'm glad you said I think, that. I think a lot of people <laughs> are sleeping on the signing and looking at him. He got that. He dog. got that dog, <laughs> in, bro. I'm um, tell. He is pro like last summer. I was begging for Spurs to sign him, and I think people look at him and think five foot seven. And then you uh, went what's for he Romero gonna do? over him, did you? Yeah, at the time. yeah. Essentially, went for Romero. I'd love to have both. Oh, I said Argentina having those two. That's, that's two butchers right there. Mm. I'm comfortable <laughs> on like the ball as well. That's the thing. It's not like yeah. But it's not like, you know, usually when you see those aggressive defenders, ah, oh, they can't play with the ball. Yeah. No, this guy can find a pass as well. And I think his versatility could be a little trick in United's fold this season for mm. sure. I'm, I'm, glad you said, I'm glad you said Martinez because based on the criticism he's already received, despite not kicking the ball, I mean, I think he played 45 minutes in the preseason. And yeah, it's preseason. Look good, but it's preseason. I think a lot of people... And it's specifically Arsenal fans. Yeah, I'm getting that you lot again. Course. Because he chose Man United over you. And then they come with the, oh, it's just because he didn't want to play left back. But now I'm here and you bought Zinchenko to play left back. But then <laughs> yesterday I'm hearing people saying, oh, Tierney's going to be back there soon and Zinchenko's going to be playing midfield. So 
the, the reality is he chose Man United over you, probably bec mainly because, well, one, we're a bigger side, and two, he's got a manager there who he knows. I think he's going to surprise a lot of people. Five foot nine, yeah, as a centre back in the Premier League, you can be in trouble. Yeah. But if he's not in trouble at five foot nine, it shows how good of a player he would have to be. So I'm expecting <gasps> him to be a very good signing Leaps for us. He's got a leap on him as well. Yeah. yeah. Do you know, it reminds me of, if you don't remember, Ivan Cordoba yeah. Yeah. at Inter yeah, Milan. Yeah, yeah. Was, was about five foot nine. seven. Oh, yeah. But a jack in but the box. Go, go look at him well, and though. pictures, and you'll see him. He's jumping above six yeah, foot five. Yeah. Strikers, <laughs> Jan Collar, and them, man. I'm like, what? Go for goal! Tottenham. Go, Ryan Sessia scored for Tottenham. <laughs> it's one all at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. 20 minutes in, two goals already. This one looks like it could be a classic. Here we go. I just need to know you got the assist. something on this left hand side. Listen, I'm happy for Sessia. He needs. Kuliseski assist. I, I, and I'm going to get to that boy in a second. Mm. But Ryan Sessegnon, I want to talk on him first because I feel like he needs a massive season this year. Yeah. You've got the experience of Perisic coming in. Learn from him. You've had about three seasons where you've been blowing hot and cold. No one really knows your best position, your best attribute. Start the season well. Make this position your own because long term, I think we're going to hand him a contract as well. He's got to make the most of it. Yeah. And that, in, by the way, it. England, <clears throat> down that left-hand side, there's gaps. Chilwell is constantly Chilwell's injured. got injuries. Like, you can't play sure. Trippier there all the time. You can't. Trippier's sure. always over there. Yeah. James playing Mitchell there. Mitchell at Palace is, is starting to come up, but yeah. there's there's still room for more if you, if you want to join the party. God, what a ball from Kulusevski. Talk to us about oh the goal then, if you want. Kulusevski just gets it on the right-hand side, cuts inside and whips a mean lefty across the box. And Sessegnon just back post to just head it in and... Kulisevsky, I'm telling you, last season I feel like everybody got a, a nice wake-up call to what a player he is. And I feel like this season he's going to put himself on like the European map, I feel like. Because he is someone who I think, from what you need a, from a modern-day winger, he's got everything. Do you everything. think with the way that Conte plays as well, do you think there's going to be more opportunities for the wing-backs to actually score goals? 100%. I mean, we're seeing... That's a good goal. That's a great day, great day, 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 day. So this is what I'm talking about, right? Sessegnon there was basically playing as a left wing forward with nothing behind him. Yes. The ball was across the other side. Yeah. He was allowing himself to be that last man at the back post where you could easily this see was, a Son popping up there or a Kane, but now we're seeing the wing backs. This scoring. was the biggest frustration last year for Spurs fans, though, was our wing backs letting us down. Yeah. Emerson would get into those great positions, constantly falter. Sessegnon himself would get into those positions, not deliver. Reguion, I'm not even yeah. joking, would get into those positions. Against Liverpool, I remember, I remember yeah. missing sitters. Yeah, yeah. And you're thinking, the, the system that Conte plays allows your wing-backs to get into good positions. They have to be able to capitalise on That's more of what we need to see of consistently, in my opinion. Because Sessegnon, when he was at Fulham, looked this he type of goals. player. Yeah, he he got could goals. be a goal scorer. He could be getting yeah. on the end of balls. And it's like, now, if the wing-back position under Conte, and he's giving you that faith and backing to say, look, I believe in you, Take your chances when you're giving them, and this, this is this is a good way to do it. This is yeah, what he chance, did. Um, one goal. This is what he did under uh, at Chelsea with the wing backs <coughs> with uh, Victor Moses and Marcus. Alonso. He's the yep. wing back whisperer, and and he wants them <laughs> getting on the end of chances. Bro. And even Chelsea last season with Chilwell and James, they were some of our top assisters, top scorers when they were fit yeah. at the start of the season. When you got wing backs, your wing backs decide how you play in this formation. Bro, you could either be Moses, extremely defensive it, yeah. or you could actually be really attacking A and machine. entertaining. And it's all about those two positions. Even like Perisic, who I'm glowing about now, he's the one who turned him into a wing back. Mm. He was faltering at Inter Milan, was getting loaned out to Bayern Munich to go and save his career. Mm. When he came back, Conte said, all right, I've got something new. Wing back whisperer, let me sort you out. Boom. Yeah. And now he's you're the seeing. Wing back whisperer. He really Listen, is. Goal he for really Leeds. Oh, goal, goal for Leeds. Wow. It's Rodrigo. a equaliser at Ellen Road. Rodrigo, number 19, the striker, has slotted one home. Big goal Look at this. for Leeds. Um, Cancha. Talk to me about I heard there's been a bad tackle in the Tottenham South. Yeah, Sessignon just leaving his studs on Carl Walker's Peters, letting him know, hey, listen, is that <laughs> ain't no love round here, bro. Yeah. Has he got a yellow for that? The chat saying, yeah, he's got, a yellow, he's got a yellow for that. People in the in the chat listen, saying, red I like card, that aggression. Debbie says that. Definitely should have been. Um, FJT says, yes, we all love Leeds. I was actually with a Leeds mate last night in uh, McDonald's. Hey, we? Tune. We? Uh, crazy we? somewhere. We do not love Leeds. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you <laughs> love he's Leeds. McDonald's going, all Leeds, aren't we? And he almost got us kicked out. But <laughs> uh, Leeds have an equaliser and it is Rodrigo 24 minutes in do you know what we're actually seeing quite a few goals good yeah, yeah. we like that for the start of the season we do yeah. start of the season we need that gets you us excited that. but Sessegnon just so soon after scoring that header at the back stick has a yellow card 
Has he lost his head a little bit nah, there, Fuad? Let's have this. Let's see this. <laughs> <at> <laughs> <angle>. <laughs> I need the aggressivity. Oh, that's I definitely a that. pod. Definitely a pod. No, yeah. good. Has he been booked? Good. Has yeah, he yeah. he's been booked. Okay, that is enough. late. Yeah, For me, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a big fan of players Whoa, who are strong in the tackle. What? And any Tell higher, you any what? higher, a centimeter any higher, higher, that is a red card. Because yeah. he's come down as yeah. opposed yeah. to like straight He started across. high and came, yeah. came yeah, down. Yeah, that's Carl Walker. Walker Peters used Ooh. to play at Tottenham. But they still mm. got Livermento as a backup option. It's not bad. Wow. But he's out. He that had an ACL. Though, oh, yeah. Halfway yeah, through the first half. I don't think he's on the bench. Knock him out. Let's go through a couple of games in the championship. We don't like to, as I said, neglect that league as well. So let's go into the championship, see what games we've got here today. Um, the, oh don't forget God. the championship has been on for a week already but Norwich Wigan was last night that was one all uh, score update Bristol City at home to Sunderland Sunderland back in the championship now uh, it's one all there uh, at the minute Burnley nil Luton Town one Preston North End nil Hull City nil QPR one up at home to Middlesbrough Reading losing at home to Cardiff one nil Sheffield United two nil up at home to Millwall Stoke nil Blackpool nil and Swansea nil Blackburn Rovers nil. Some you have to say, and we say it all the time. There's some massive teams in this league, yeah. Uh, and in League One as well, you've got the likes of Derby County in there this season. You've got Barnsley, Bolton, Charlton, um, Sheffield Wednesday, Oxford. Portsmouth, Oxford. University. Oxford are playing Cambridge today, by the way. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. The University Derby. <laughs> Who's yeah. going to win that one? Nerd tax. Nerd. Yeah. Nerd <laughs> tax. I should be at that game. Damn. <laughs> 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 oh <my laughs> Jesus. <laughs> yeah. Exeter that's serious. Just scored against uh, Port Vale in League One. But yeah, Oxford versus Cambridge. That is. Can you imagine any? Things kicking off at that game. Nah, <laughs> man. Listen, in they've all got they've fans. all got higher maths. You know what I mean? Homework to do and whatnot. Yeah. That's just it's a little the Tory derby. That yeah, is. it's just a little break. <laughs> if anything, that's just a little break. For sure. Uh, <laughs> don't forget the Scottish Premiership happening right now. Aberdeen nah, have just man. gone one 0 up at home to St Mirren. Celtic also in action as our Rangers both nil nil at the minute. So football is back. Mm. And I love it. it. Is, yes. it, is, it is. We, lo we love to see it. Those friendlies, man, they weren't doing it for me. You know what I mean? All them. What, You're four, just saying that because you love it. Yeah, man. <laughs> he got packed that 4 0 to Arsenal, Arsenal bro. man. That, 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 wasn't, that wasn't real life. Do you know what I mean? That 4 0 to Man United. Hang on, you Shane held well. Long's gone back to Reading. Oh, that's beautiful, though, isn't it? I love oh, that. Really? Hey, I need Leroy Where's Leroy? Kitson? <laughs> where's, yeah. Kitson yeah. Where's, yeah. Where's, where's Doyle? Where's Steve? <laughs> <laughs> Real heritage hours. Oh. Get these players hey. back, man. If that Seriously. is the Shane Long I'm, I'm thinking Who's about, he must have just left Southampton. There was South a left-back. There was Leighton Baines Reading. and then there was another um, left-back. Nicky Shorey. Nicky Shorey. Nicky Shorey. Oh, yeah. Yo, yeah, Nicky Shorey. Techie, I'm it's telling Nicky you. Nicky Shorey. Wow. Bro. Nicky Shorey. Wow. Always played in like they proper Mundials that time as well. Yes. Is Leighton Baines still at Everton or is he Techie done? Techie left backs. Is Leighton Baines still at Everton? Bro, you're retired. I think he's not. I think he's retired, yeah. yeah. I didn't even hear it about it. He, he should have got like a silent. whole... He should have got a testimonial. Right, exactly, probably it's Leighton Baines. That's a like legendary left back in, in this country. Right, and one Shane of the other things that I wanted to bring up today, and I know you guys all know your football as well, it's the new Premier League ball. So you can see it to the right of me here. Uh, I won't get it out because it's taken us ages to put it on the little clip to make you it stay there. <laughs> yep. um, but this is the new ball for the 2022-2023 season. Um, I wanted to ask you what your favourite Premier League balls of all easy, time were. Easy, easy, I, easy. I've got mine, but easy. I think personally, and there has been a lot of controversy around this launch of this ball, yep. people claiming, not my words, allegedly Nike have massively ripped off Mitre for the 95-6 ball. Yes, with this design and like mitre. It looks like a mitre. Oh, you know, you, mitre yeah. uh, <laughs> weren't <laughs> happy about it. They've even come out and made a joke on social media that, uh, you know, imitation is the highest form of flattery, etc. Mm. I'm going to go for the 0405 Total 90 Aero Ball. It was a light blue ball with a circle there, a circle there, and a circle there. I don't know exactly what you know you're the talking one. about. I can't Gerard remember. Scored hella with it. I can't remember me. what mine's called. You guys would definitely remember uh, the name. Able, tell me the Purple, season. yellow. I think it was like... Yes, oh. so that's 045, uh, the winter ball. That yes. was the winter ball. Yes. So that was the aero as well. Was that the that's aero? The yeah. Yeah. Ball. yeah, yeah, That's the one. That's beautiful the one. Football. Oh, we yeah. used to just go park and just slice up shots with that. Oh, nah, beautiful. Listen, mine, yeah. mine, mine is beautiful. going back a little bit, but this is the best one. The Merlin. Yes. Oh, the Merlin. I know oh, what that is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Merlin. Is that, is yeah. that um, yeah. the Burgundy Merlin. Arsenal yeah. days? Yeah. I wouldn't even... No, 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 it's not. It's not. Is it not? It was a little bit before that. A little bit before that. I would have said it 
was, uh, for me, Rude Van is what yeah, I remember Van when I see okay. okay. It's a good shout. Let us know in the comments. I know a lot of people have favourites. A lot of people I have slated a couple of balls that have come out recently. I, I might or are trying to stay in the limelight. Come on, give, <laughs> yeah. give it a rest. Like, you look, you look, had your years. When's in the, the last FA time might have made a ball that was relevant? Bro, no one, ain't no one wearing might <laughs> uh, on their kits these days. They're just trying no, to pop up the in the FA news Cup again. Ball is, is nice this year from my tour last year, but um, yeah, we've oh, got do the they still do the FA Cup ball? Yeah, yeah, really. Oh, they sent me at the Delta Max, it's a beautiful Snap. football. Um, we've got the Louis Vuitton football there for five and a half oh grand. God. <laughs> if anyone fancies Excuse me? That. Is, th is that, that, the, five and a half that yellow one? Is that the one you were talking about? So, yeah, that's yeah, the yeah, I, like, I did like that's that That's the one. total 90-era. Like that that's the Merlin in the Ooh, middle. Yeah. I can't um, like that. I don't think I've seen many Premier League balls that I've thought, ah, this one's not good, if that makes sense. I usually I think, think that's generally a beautiful ball. they the make good balls. The 1920 winter ball is, is a kind I of throwback to the arrow. I love the winter ones. That one was awful, that red and white one, if I'm honest. That's a 15-16, I think. Was that it? I don't even remember that. I don't remember that No, it was rubbish. The 7 8 ball, the Torres special Go for Tottenham. Oh, go for Tottenham. Who's got it? Dial. Dial. Eric Dial. Eric Dial. Dial. Two defenders for Tottenham just scoring. gone through now Must and just corner. there near post, yeah. Must be a, corner. be a corner. yeah. Wow. Wowza. My God. Got some and more shouts guys here. Guys talking just... about Eric Dial. Should it be starting? So this yeah, is yeah, the yeah. Ultimax, right? This is the Mitre Ultimax. Yeah, that's a classic. Can you see that's the similarities classic. between that ball and this ball right it. here? I see it. I can, and I think it is a little bit of a howler, if I'm honest. <laughs> um, but that's been copied. But yeah, um, it's interesting. Melter, Mitre, Delta and the Pro Max, says Steve Stringer. The 0708 Champions League ball, the 02 World Cup ball comes to mind. Um, I remember that one. That was a beautiful ball. Of course, the World sorry. Cup 2010 ball was goated, the Jubilani. Oh, that's course. lovely. Oh, that's Talk lovely. to me about Eric Dyer's <laughs> goal oh, that's there. <laughs> Corner doesn't quite work out. Ball goes out to the edge of the box. It gets is. sprayed back to Sun on the left wing. Sun says, here you go, near post. Eric Dyer, nice little flick on. So there Beautiful you go, half an hour in, Beautiful. Tottenham two goals to one at home to Southampton. Um, the 1897 leather ball, says NE. <laughs> 0405 <laughs> was fresh. The Mitre Delta Premier League, that was the best ball. Hashtag old school, says Barca Dam. Um, <coughs> the yellow ball clear, says uh, Obsuite as well. Uh, and the total 90 ball getting a lot of love as, a lot of love as well. So yeah, I'm going for the... Uh, the 04, uh, 05 can, can aero. Can we see That's the goal, what please? I'm going for. Can we, can we see the goal? Let's Virgil go. van Dyer says Noah uh, Nitwali. Mm. Won't say much. Won't say much. But that is a, a big goal much. for Tottenham. Oh, Conte's plan working. And it's yeah. another one. No, no, no. That's the... No, no, that's, that's the... the oh, no, that was <laughs> the one. <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't get me with them replays like that, boy. Getting the rust off. Early early season rust for Alex. I like that. He said he needed to concede that goal early to wake us up because that's... I don't know what it is. Great ball. I remember even second half of last season, we were like this. We always conceded first or had to have a sloppy first 20 minutes. And then it's like, oh, okay, there's a match on the line. Let's get involved. Uh, super chat from Cyrus Bezian who says Liverpool drawing with Fulham was very funny sucked in AGT careful with your words there almost something Whoa. else um, not too sure what was sucking me there if I'm honest Cyrus cool. bit of a bad one um, the score <laughs> <laughs> who remembers the scorpion ball do you remember the like reflective kind of silver scorpion that, ball that was used in like in the, the advert, advert yeah, in the yeah, yeah 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 I remember that I remember that, 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 that as well um <laughs> But yeah, Tottenham two and up, 31 minutes in. We're having a look here at mm. Newcastle. I Morris love Joel as well. Linton. Joel Linton's I love just Joel missed Linton's the sitter. change. It's just beautiful to see the, the adaptation. High to the press here position. from the Toon Army. And it's Joel Linton on the edge of the box. Goes for goal and it's straight down Dean Henderson's throat. Um, Dean Henderson. But good to see. Uh, I need, I need Newcastle up. to have an identity in terms of what are they going to do entertainment wise for us with this money. Like you said with the Brazilians. I remember with the French, the Kabais, mm. Pape Cisse, Demba Bar, <laughs> yeah. French speaking, you know? Kabai, yeah. Uh, ben Afra. I mm. need, I need an identity. proper vibes. Now. It's all good. Tovan. Yeah, to <laughs> Tovan. Like, not all of them worked, but they tried, do you know what I mean? They, they had good intentions. I need an identity here now. So, yeah, I, I would like Brazilian, I think. I think Brazilian would work. They've I already got so. a few. Oof. Go for it. I, you just want to see something. Mm. That's the thing for me. I always felt like this was going to be the year in Newcastle maybe close the gap on that top six a little bit because I don't think they're going to do that Champions League jump straight away. No, no, no. no, no. no. I think it's too no, it's too the soon. gap is too big as well. Yeah, too but 
if they're trying to play this kind of let's just gradually safely build a team, mm. I don't know. But do you it. do you lot think this there could be Eddie Howe could possibly be under pressure this season? Just got a new contract. Oh, he just had a new contract. Just got a new contract. Literally yesterday. Uh, hear me out. <laughs> <laughs> hear me <laughs> out. He didn't now, know that. this is a <laughs> season where getting surviving relegation is just. No, 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 no. They're not going to be right. No, 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 no. But, no, no, but no, even no, no. so, if we're if we're let's say mid season now, yeah, but they won't be. I don't think they will. I'm just saying. I'm not saying relegation. There's the squad hasn't improved drastically. This is the same team half. that went on a brilliant yeah. run. One they of the didn't best do you think? Do you think they, they can? Do you do think they can keep that up from second yeah, half of last so. year? I think so. I think this. This is the. This is. The this one is one watch, of the most man. informed teams yeah. this calendar year. They were. They were top six kind of form, but they Bro. were coming back from relegation zone. I so remember they had to climb out. There were spells towards the back end of the season where I was like, they were bottom of the league. So I think as long as he, if he, if he has this team in. I get what you're saying. You I want, felt you like want last, to see more the back end of last season was like, you know when Mario, you get your star. I feel like now it's wearing off and they need to buy another star. Super mm. Mario. Yeah, Super okay. Mario. That was it. When you said Mario, I was like... <laughs> no, I, I hear you. I definitely want to see one or two, but you've oh, seen, the really they've, cool. they've inquired about Cornet. He's going to uh, West Ham. West Ham. Yeah. They, they were looking at Madison. They were looking at Harvey Barnes. Madison, come to Tottenham. Yeah, so they're looking they're looking at a few different players. You can see the intentions are there, but I agree with you to an extent. Like, you want to see more. You've got yeah. all this money. I'm not saying waste it. You're the richest club in the world. You know, let's see a world. little bit. Oh, see. You know they, got, they got PSG I, money, bro. I let's get a winger and another midfielder, I think. Some, some people have been talking about Newcastle top six. I think, nah, they're, no. I think they're far Crazy. off top six. Nah, Crazy. Nah, nah. I think Too early. Wait, not, not with I don't think six. they're far off it. I, I think, think they, they could look at a top eight. I don't think being eighth yeah, but is necessarily that eighth, far ninth, away. I think. Yeah, but no, but that, no, but no, but no, but be, away, being though. being eighth depends on the points. Gap, yeah, no, but it's not. It's yeah, not sometimes it's not. West Ham and Man United were, were way off. No, but sometimes it's not. Sometimes it's not about even the points gap. Were you in the fight? Like West Ham were in the fight for top four, for top yeah, six, and, and fell, fell to seven. Away, fell away. Where you guys? Whereas you know you might have a team who's down fifteenth and they have a late charge and finish eighth, but they're not. That's a yeah. They're not in the fight. I don't think they're going to be in the fight for top six. They may finish eighth. Chance. They won't be. They won't be because if Callum Wilson goes down it's back to Chris Wood literally so their, their season relies on Callum Wilson yeah, at this point too much to be so. fair they do probably need another out and out striker they, they were linked with uh, is it Ekiteke and he went PSG yeah, and he yeah, went to PSG Skamaka went West Ham that was yeah. a that was a big move that no one really yeah. pounced yeah, on yeah, yeah. You know? 17 goals the Italians Italian never do Ariola. too well in Premier League here's well, another question for you <laughs> and this is this is genuinely <laughs> one of the craziest stats I've heard in Premier League history Only so last season no. Uh, <laughs> no, I was going to jump the gun there. So last <laughs> season, there were some stats that came out. Last season, the ball was in play in Premier League games on average. How, how many sorry. minutes do you do you oh. know this already? I Keep think it to yourself. Okay. I'm can I guess? Guys. How, how can you guess? I don't, you know. Know. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, you don't know. I don't know, but I'm going to guess. On <laughs> average, 90 minutes across the whole season, every single game, on average, how many minutes was the ball in play for? 62. 65. 58. <laughs> Six you know what? They're all they're they're low shouts, and the actual answer is fifty-five minutes. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Which I is why they brought back the multi-ball system. So if you notice, balls um, all around the the back of the goal, the sides of the pitches to combat time wasting. Because that's the biggest thing that was happening. They've cracked down on it a lot. And can you imagine going to pay for a ticket and, and only really watching fifty-five minutes out of ninety? But that's that what. But, but, but that's wild. that's why there's shouts for, and I'm not even against this of a, a stopwatch. Sixty minutes. So it might be, you know, it might be a forty minute halves. But the, well, was but the ball that. stop, the game stop, the time stops when See, like it's that. out of play. Because like at least that. you're guaranteed whatever happens, you're guaranteed eighty minutes of football, mm. which is more than we're getting at the moment. Yeah. Or if you said it was thirty five, so you're guaranteed seventy minutes of football. Yeah. Regardless of what happens, the games will last similar amount of time, but the time waste is completely out of it. There's no, you're not thinking, oh, ref, you cheat, you gave too much time added on. There's no time added on. Once the ball is out of play after the you know 35th minute of the, the first clock. half or 70th minute of the, of the second half, you stop the clock. Like in rugby. Mm. I, I don't know exactly the, all the rules of rugby when the clock stops, when it doesn't, but I know the clock does stop at certain times. And you kind of just, it, it clears up a lot of the controversy and it stops the time wasting. The time wasting has been happening for so long. And I think this season or last season, I should say, it became, all right, now we have to put our foot down because this is just becoming farcical. Yeah. Mm. And with 10 balls around the pitch, there really isn't these days an excuse to time waste. And as soon as you are, you're going to get a yellow card, really. Mm. Um, so it's an interesting fact, and I thought I'd share it with you guys. I didn't it, know why they took away the multiple system in the first place, because we used yeah, to have it. It was for COVID. They had it there for COVID, because the Germans... No, but, the, no, but, they, but they, they took it before the COVID... 
Oh, wait, are you saying they had it? They had multiple systems during COVID. Or during had... COVID, and then they took it away last oh, season, and now they brought prediction. it back. Okay. Um, so yeah, interesting. Some good hmm. guesses there, though. Hmm. Fifty-five says the NYG. Fifty-three says Georgie Foot. The Leicester fan. I don't know. Um, do only I football casuals are shocked at that <laughs> stat. <laughs> yeah. um, says Georgie Foot. Um, Arteta kisses Pep through the phone, says FJT. Kiss me through the phone. Good song. Uh, <laughs> time wasting <laughs> was invented in South America, says TMYG. Um, whoever says the time should stop in football is useless, oh, says sorry. Magar. Sorry. Um, AGT's mic is quiet, apparently. So let's let's fix that. Or don't, depending on what you, uh, how you like the show. It up. Um, Real Madrid invented time wasting, says FGT. Um, how's it going, AGT, says Arsene Wenger. Very good, Le Professeur. Thank you, mate. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> Let us know. Um, right, we are approaching uh, 40 minutes now in the Premier League. This game's been interesting. It's been a lot of Newcastle, but there's Lingard, oh. and it's a good block from Shaw. Oh. Nico <laughs> Williams. Some Lingard. strike. Lingard's under a lot of pressure, you know. Some he strike. Big Nico. wage. Expected to be the saviour of Nottingham Forest. What do you guys think about the lack of the main shirt sponsor here for Forest as well? Let me take a closer look because I like it. Because it's a Macron case. kit. Yeah. But with no shirt clean. manufacturer. Clean. Well, I mean, if the they can afford, if they can afford it, then, then great. What's the what's the thought behind it? Purely just the look. I, I think know. if they can afford to, sure. to do Personally, it. If you're not Barcelona, you just look broke. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that, not that, broke. That so they no spent the most money. How can they be broke and not have a shirt sponsor? Uh, th listen, it, for me, it just makes the kit look broke. I'm sorry. How? It looks I like something so. I could buy. It looks like a classic. Like classic. Like buy it at a Macron factory. Nah. Well, I've, I've, I've got a classic Man United get a plain. Like Are you telling I me I think the kit is clean with red Macron shirt? I think it looks clean. And I think it's a little bit of a flex. Like, we don't need a sponsor. We don't even need a sponsor. Nike, I'll get it. Oh. <laughs> Look at this guy. Oh. You're moving. Yeah, you got an agenda. Macron, you got an agenda. Come on, man. Macaroni hat. <laughs> <laughs> I, think it, I, think it, I think it's a flex. I can't lie Obviously, to you. Obviously, other manufacturers are available, of course. But is it better to have that than a betting sponsor? Yes. Yeah, of course. 100%. Yes. Better than any sponsor. I think. Like, in reality, any, well, I think sponsor, that yeah. looks better. Yeah, yeah I think care. it does. Without we sponsor. If, if Chelsea released a kit, right? With that no sponsors sell, in the middle. Bro, bro it was so. Because you don't have some big print. That you, you cause you're there to support your team. You don't yeah, care yeah, about exactly. the team. You don't care about Yoko holding my tyres. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Everyone's got a tyre. Newcastle have got... <laughs> <laughs> Newcastle have still got betting on their... Yeah, they have. Yeah, 188 or whatever. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I think it's, if you've got a betting sponsor, and that at, at the end of that contract, you have to get rid of it. Yeah. But... So wait. You can't get a new got betting one, sponsors sure. with so they won't renew Muslim them. owners. They won't renew that. But can you get a new betting sponsor? Oh, no, no. They're changing it. They're changing it now. Yeah, so you yeah, can't yeah. have back to back betting sponsors. No, no. So no. Fun Eight Eight uh, currently sponsor Newcastle. But oh, interesting to see who uh, Forest had last season. Actually, was it Stake or someone like that? I think Everton have got them now. Okay. Um, but yeah, no, I, I, I like, I like uh, that kit. It's a, it's a good kit, it's man. A, it's, re <laughs> it's like a degenerational thing, you know. We've come so far. Oh, that's a good ball. Newcastle. They had oh, box tea. Old school, and I'm, I'm a fan of it. Wow. That is oh, box tea. Oh, I swear that's their kit for this year, though. So really, it's really, interesting. Really good. Really maybe good Google it. They might have an answer what for us. What is box tea? I don't even know. Really good run. But um, it, show, it shows how much football is uh, so much about money. Oh, they make boilers. That, that every club <laughs> has this <laughs> sponsor. Oh, it is. And it becomes a debate whether they should have a sponsor, should yeah. not. Like, can we get back to shirt, football? Everyone's shirt sleeves sponsors. Sleeve sponsors now. Yeah, it's now. everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. I think when Arsenal had with the Rwanda, was mm. it? The thing, Visit thinking, Rwanda, yeah. No one does shirt sponsors like Brazilian clubs, though, man. They will be having like five, six sponsors on each. Yeah, season. I'm telling you, coming like F1. Bro. I remember when I was, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Neymar oh, playing. Oh, because on F1, I'd they don't need more playing for Santos pain. and just yeah. Yeah. everywhere. Yeah. Macaroni, uh, uh, airline company, <laughs> yeah. cigarette company. Yeah, like, yeah. Yo, there's no space. In everything. We're lucky the pitches are still green. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we're lucky that they don't have. You know, like they have those. Um, they're not actually real, but sometimes behind the goal, the the visual effect will show you that there's a sponsor. Thing that's like laid on the floor. Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 Sometimes yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, it's just for the TV. Bro, trust me, the pitch will become. We need to be a sponsor bro, soon. Like the, careful, each blade yeah. of grass will have a sponsor. We need to be soon. careful with um, Premier League that they don't think of of this idea to make the pitch have sponsors on it because if they do that, <laughs> it's long. Yep, it is long, and that's the way we're going. Um, Grizzly saying apparently Team Viewer 
who are United's yep. uh, shirt sponsor, they've actually had a drop of 40% in their stock since they've become United oh, sponsor. Why is that? And they don't want to be associated they're not with gonna United renew, They're not going to renew. Why? Because we, we tanked their, um, their ratings. Why? Wait, I'm trying to remember exactly. It was, about, it was around the whole Glazer thing. And basically uh. we went on to their... It was, and they, when they became our new sponsors, we went, everyone went on to their, you know, um, when you get five stars and that kind of stuff. Trustpilot. And literally, yeah, Trustpilot. Literally one star reviews, terrible company, all that kind of stuff. And they basically said, yeah, we're, we're out. <laughs> I mean, th- you don't really account for that. The, you know, the sponsors Come don't on, account for that kind of stuff. No. No. Sonny's in! No, Sonny's in! Oh, it. my God! Please. Finish! <laughs> <sighs> I got Sonny in my FPO. I need that, man. <laughs> Roll Z, mate. I'm not. I'm not. I'm, if you I'm are not, not happy it. with Sonny's finish there, the Gustavo, God. great name. It's actually my dog's name. Um, says Kappa, <laughs> Macron, <laughs> and Kelm, underrated for kits. And how does an American get a smaller Prem club kits to the US? Awful nation for football fans. What? Did you you got all the games live. What are you talking about? Yeah, CBS business. I swear Americans get all their games live. What did he say? Sure Why are do. kits? We, don't, we can't even watch these games. Do you see this? Um, yes. I thought he was complaining uh, about kits. Kyle so. Games yeah, with listen, a super chat as well. Smooth, fam. We got all the kits, but we can't watch the games. <laughs> so <laughs> Kyle Garns, if you add, super chat. Big up to you, Kyle, for sending that in. Tottenham can win the Prem. They pose the biggest yes. threat to the top Let's two. Let's put all this pressure on Tottenham. Let's do it. Sorry? <laughs> can you repeat Tottenham that again? Can w- Tottenham can win Sorry. the Prem. Can you repeat, Tot- please? Tottenham can win the Prem. <laughs> that's what he said. Tottenham can okay. win the Prem. Listen, the that was his super chat, so that's what I he said. I want all the pressure this year from Tottenham, and I want everyone to keep hyping Would you like to send another well. super chat, giving us your explanation behind the stall process, please? Yeah. I would like to well, engage you're going to have the top goal scorer in Harry Kane. Yep. Um, Kulishevsky so is this y- is this your opinion? I'm, I'm just no, no, I'm, I'm saying for him. I can see from one of the I can top, see his one thoughts. Of the, I can see his thoughts. Top, one of the top managers <laughs> in Dante. Top exactly. Scorer, top playmaker. <laughs> who's the playmaker? Kane. And who's the top goalscorer? Kane. Kane. Son, Son <laughs> and Kane. Son and Kane. <laughs> <laughs> uh, LJ Brown saying that Forest's sponsor will be DR Sport soon. Yeah. Big ups. Can you imagine? No. Robbie, get hey. on the phone. They've Midland's got some office. dough. They have mm. dough. Trust me. So uh, let's get some of that. Um, BLST says, I'd rather have no one. Sorry, I'd rather no one have sponsors than two teams have the same, like Villa and Everton last season. With I Kazoo. agree with that. That's a I don't shot. think any teams should have the same, same sponsors sponsor. if you're in the same league. The same yeah, league that's, league. that's nasty. <laughs> yeah, that's Massive um, caveat to that, though. So in Scotland, Tenants is like the biggest lager. Mm-hmm. They said, right, we're going to sponsor Celtic. And then they said, well, if you do that, you're going to absolutely have the Rangers fans boycott your beer. Yeah. Yeah. So they said, Pro, we're gonna have to do it we're gonna have to sponsor them both then. And they did. Because that and they did for years. Wow. So that city of Glasgow, honestly, as soon as a Celtic fan who loves a tenant sees Rangers sponsored by tenants, that's going in the beer. Hey listen, so business, they, they that's clever. why they call they it a business. Say, oh! Did it work? <coughs> it was like, well it must have, because they both they both had them Harry for years. King. Half time. Half time Leeds versus Wolves 1 1. Look at this. And half time in the Tottenham game 2 ah, 1 at the ah, moment to Tottenham. It should be 4 1, man. Burnley are 1 0 down to Luton in the Championship. Obviously, What's they've the just gone back down. The Ooh, worst sponsor you Mini can remember. Company. Worst sponsor? Hmm. Worst sponsor of all time. Well, I'm, see, I'm not sure about the sponsor, but the way it looked on our kit, the AIG with the, the box. Yeah. That was Spot, it was that horrible. Aesthetically, was oh, one of the worst kids. In horrible. arguably one of your best eras. Yeah, as well. I was like 20, uh, 2008, 2006, 2008, 2006, 2007, And then we had, because also, I think it was just before that, we had this um that strip that went down there, that blue line. The, oh, the, 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 black, the black triangle. Oh, the black triangle. Yeah, nine ten, yeah. Yeah, we had time. I think maybe because your team was so good. I didn't think we need a kit to rip. We need the kit. Oh, I, I didn't think it. AIG was that bad, but maybe it's just because your team... Was it was just like a box. Yeah. You see what other sponsors, it's like the name is embedded within the shirt. Yeah. It was like, here's a shirt Do you and here's hear, a sponsor. Do you want to hear about sponsors embedded? When Bolton was sponsored by Reebok. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, by Reebok. Reebok across here. Yeah. Reebok, Reebok Stadium. Stadium. RBK, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. RBK, RBK across here. They yeah. were... In Ingrained. French, yeah. in it's, like, it's like Arsenal with the Emirates, isn't it? Really? It's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, let's see some of the worst shirt sponsors. Do you know what? I don't the the Rios, I don't think it's was more, bad, though. It's more nostalgia. Bet 3 2 was awful for West Ham. Listen. You know, they had to box it out for that season. Bro, Scroll up. I was going to say, I think that boxed out era they at had West to Ham. Box do you remember it. when they had white squares? Yeah. With the awful. Kevin Nolan, David oh, yeah. Look at that Burger yeah, King yeah, one. Yeah, oh, yeah. my God. 9 10 era. Yeah. yeah. Hetafe and Burger King. Pirelli and Inter Milan are the best. Yeah, that's a good oh, shout. Pirelli and Inter Milan is like <laughs> Liverpool and uh, Carlsberg. Yeah. 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 Heritage. Yeah. Heritage. Good Samson shot. and Chelsea. 
Hey guys, oh, do you remember nah, when nah, Atletico really de Madrid had a deal it did, it did with <laughs> Marvel and they had to have whatever the I mean, Marvel film was, they had to have that film. I didn't know that. Yeah, no, so it wasn't Marvel. It was like one of the big studios that make all the films, but it was like Hellboy. Um, oh, Atletico. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah they, were, it was they had 20 odd sponsors because yeah. it was all different films. Uh, Spider-Man and all the other yeah, yeah, things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember okay, that. Okay. You, um, know, you know what sponsor I like? It was O2 Arsenal. Mm. I think after the JVC era. I'll be honest yeah, yeah, yeah. nothing beats I like their Dreamcast Sega Ooh. kits I can't lie yeah the Sega, one, the Sega one was good yeah, that, was, that, was, that was the moment I was deciding of my clubs and you I say that like, oh, everyone is agreeing with you I was mellow right, nah. Sega sponsor <laughs> slaps <laughs> you still couldn't do it Saul Campbell he fucked it yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fulham and Pizza Judas Hut move, I said nah I can't ride with that kind of yeah, brother yeah. Like, nah, nah, nah. Fulham and Pizza Hut yo Louis Saha era Steve Malbrough, Louis Balmorte, Steve Finnan. Yo, someone get that up. I need to see that. That's bad. Nah, that is 0203 Heritage. Mm. That is, uh, nah, Pizza that Pizza Hut. Hut era, I only like it for because it reminds me of Prime Louis Saha before, before he's these lot ruined, ruined him. Boa Morte. Ruined him? We got him a couple, him. A couple, him. A couple him. of Premier League titles. Steve oh, Malbrough. You rate that real? No, 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 no. I said it's, it's a nostalgic kit. I don't think, it's like the Doritos with Wolves. Yeah. It's not a great kit, but you look at it and it's like, it signifies an era. An era, yeah. Steed yeah. Mal That's Bronk. hurting my eyes, man. <laughs> Steed Mal Bronk, man. That's, that's a Premier weird. League dog. That's not the one. Barca that's UNICEF it. was a flex, says Adrian. Barca UNICEF was nice. Purely because how good they were at that time mm. as well. Is that the one they, they paid, like, didn't it? That was, was, that a, charity, was the, so they paid a livening of Messi. That. That's what I remember that kit, <laughs> UNICEF. It was pet takeover season. Mm. <laughs> Uh, I always think of Brother for Man City, says Thomas Cowan. I think Brother make washing machines or something like that. Washing machines. Live longer with Cowan. Other this washing machine detergents on. are available. <laughs> nah, I and you must say, buy them. Cowan have done a madness with that. because that's right, What is a washing machine? The first thing that came yeah, to my head. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah. mad. Great. Yeah. That's what you call great marketing. Yeah. Yeah. How about this one? Adverts, they don't do that nowadays. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. How about this one? Napoli Mars Bar. Nah, Napoli, I'm 19, sorry, last 19. season releasing 15 kits. Nah, that was a disgrace. Like, I think it was more than that. Do you know what it is? Look, it it's the more. fact that they've, they're sponsored by Emporio Armani. <laughs> Get out of here. So yeah. You're trying to be too Italian. <laughs> it was bad they enough you had that stuck with Kappa. <laughs> yeah. Stick yeah. with Kappa. Diodora, yeah. we accept. Yeah. Lotto, we can tolerate. <laughs> but once you start getting into Emporio Armani and uh, Givenchy... And, yeah, no, I'm not a fan of it. But the Mars kit, I have to say, that just screams Maradona. Cause with Chelsea Cause in the 90s. Mm. That was I a wasn't hideous too, kit. I, I, Do you know what I was like the worst? worst. The, when you like had that mixing with the red. <laughs> yeah, 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 that was nasty. Yeah. I think, I think the cause with the blue is fine though. <laughs> the, the AC Milan and Inter Milan kit that we just went past, those were the they were classics. Yeah. There was a t-shirt sponsor. Sorry, a sponsor for yeah, those, those ones. Yeah. Inter. Oh, um, oh, oh, the Opal Adidas, Leggerelli Nike. Oh, le- legendary. Inter Milan Fiorucci. Rui Costa. Get that up. Oh, Jeep. I can't lie. Real Jeep. Madrid, yeah, Juventus, yeah, yeah, Siemens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Oh. Real Madrid and Siemens oh, five, was real six. nice. That was yeah. Galactic. It weren't a successful Gucci era. Them, though, it it weren't was... a successful era, but it was all Galactic. Galactic era. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It was all Galactic. It's mad, isn't it? That wasn't that successful Bro, for them. They one, had one everyone. Title. That's no crazy. Champions League. Nintendo. Beckham, Beckham, Ronaldo, Zidane, Figo, Zidane. Figo. Wait, so yeah. when, wait, wait, when Carlos. Zidane scored the volley, what were they wearing? Wasn't Siemens? Nothing. That was nothing. No, that oh, was nothing. Was Siemens yeah, that came nothing. when Ronaldo, R9, okay, yeah, signed. And that was like the... Yeah. Okay. yeah, and then when he left, they switched to Emirates. How did they not win a league title with that damn team? They're crazy. No, only one title. One crazy. One and general the worst no thing is, Barca won't even peak Barca at that time. Yeah, they won. Valencia managed to sneak a title. Yeah. It's crazy. Valencia's got some players. Claudio Lopez. Yeah. Mr. Blister. Yeah. Canizares was a key one. Mor- Mor- yeah. Morientes. And Bella. <laughs> hey. Yeah. I remember. Yes. Yeah, Solid yeah, knowledge. Yeah. Can we yeah. get the Fiorucci one up? Even later Inter on, Milan. David Villamata, David Silva. Fiorucci. Yep. Yeah. They tried to keep it going, but then yeah, Mount was still going. young. Dab- pups David Villamata. Yeah. yeah. They moved on with them lads. Yeah. Yeah. He was. Yeah. 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 Fiorucci. Yeah. Mad. Let's get that one up. Unbelievable. Leicester Walker's crisps. Each of your teams, what would you say is the best kit you've seen in your life and the worst kit in my lifetime? Look at this one. Dennis Bergkamp. Into Milan. Yeah, that, do you know why I Fiorucci. don't like that Inter Milan kit? Okay. Uh, Seidel flopped in that. Bergkamp <laughs> flopped in that. Uh, oh, Roberto Carlos flop. flopped in that. Like, there were so many players that moved to Inter at that period. Simeone. That flopped. I think <coughs> Simeone, nah, Simeone Goes, was okay. Tolle. Um, Walkers, Liverpool and Crown Paints. What a shout from Neo. <laughs> Crown <laughs> Paints. Was that your favourite? What would you say is your favourite? Candy, Liverpool. probably. 
uh, are we talking my lifetime? Back, then? Yeah. Okay. Mm. That in you that can, case, that you've seen with your eyes. In that TV. case, I will go with the seventeen eighteen New Balance and Standard Chartered uh, collab with the V neck. We lost uh, to Madrid in the final. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah and I, I also think the home one. kit from nine t- from the season after we won the league with the green teal and the Nike for the first yeah, year. Yeah. 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 It's unbelievable. But yeah, the yeah. Carlsberg through the mid nineties is was great as well. Funny fact, um, 1978, can you guess who the first English team was to ever have a sponsor on their shirt? Think of the era that we're in as well. Forest. Is that your final answer? Yeah. Okay, I'll I'll lock that in. Forest. Um, What what year? I would say Arsenal. Oh, Lord. I wasn't even alive. Uh, Uh, Neither neither was I, Matisse, but it's called called (laughs) called football knowledge. I'm trying trying to remember. (laughs) Who was even Villa? Okay, Villa, Forest. Anyone in the comments? Let us know. People have gone for Spurs, I West think it Ham, might be Spurs maybe. Strongbow and Leeds. That was a very good yeah. show as well. with the Nike. Yeah. Ian nice. Hart, nice. Yeah. Alan, Alan Smith. Smith, blonde hair. Robert Keane, cool. Um Right, what's I come on? Be, let's let's lock in um, Leeds. Okay, you're all wrong. Uh, it was Liverpool with Hitachi in oh, 1978, yeah. and that opened Kenny the Dalglish. market. Exactly, we were European champions that yeah. year. Yeah. Right. Um, and it opened the market to you know. So you should thank Liverpool. Oh, really. did you win this? What year did Forest win? You definitely stole it off a oh, European yeah, team. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah. I think they won it in 79 and 80. Okay, so when you said 70, I was thinking Forest European champions, but you said. Do you know what? The way yeah. that the English teams had the Champions League on lock in the eight and the late 70s and 80s. 77 Liverpool, 78 Liverpool, 79 Forest, 80 Forest, 81 Liverpool, 82 Villa, Villa. 83 On the side of that as well. Stour Bucharest. Maybe, and, uh, no, I think Hamburg they were 86. Like that, Hamburg yeah. might be 83, but then Liverpool 84. And then so eight years, seven English winners. That's and on nice. either side of that, Ajax free peak, PSV yeah. free peak. <laughs> weird. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> European where's Milan was so in, weird. Yeah, yeah, where's Milan gone in all yeah. that? Yeah. Because exactly. It was, it was, well, Madrid it was, won the first five, didn't they? So. But best kit, best kit. Um, I'm gonna go Chelsea, Samsung Mobile, 07, 08, okay. I think. Adidas. It was mm, yes, and it was a nice little that color. The, yeah. Similar to Liverpool. Yeah. I like Shef- that. Shevchenko's first I season. It. Yeah, it was lazy, but it was also the Shevchenko's top first year. Because we had the collar, yeah. and you didn't you did. have the collar yeah. that year. Yeah. Torres yeah. did a madness yeah. in that. It wasn't really a collar. It was like a little. It was a flappy thing. Little flappy thing with the with the yellow trim. Carlo Ancelotti year. No, 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 no. No, no. that's 05 6 no, no, no. with that's the. Um, Carlos, that's a proper nine, collar ten. you're talking about. Yeah. Gold little trim. Yeah, Chelsea yeah, yeah. 07. We, we bagged that season. That was actually quite nice. It was simple. It was just very this, that one was just here. Boring, bro. this one here. This one here. I liked it. That one there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, let me see. Yeah, that one. That's yeah, the one you're talking about. Right. I like that one. Boring, man. Mm. Gives Boring. me nostalgia. Do you know what? Pet, pet that's the my, one. That's the one I feel like Drogba woke up. Yeah, like all of, all of the, we had like a little bit of our own Galactico team. There. The only thing I, I remember it. about this kit though is Shevchenko flopped. <laughs> that's ben what that kit always reminds me yeah. of. Yeah. 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 Ben Haim. Yeah. And this I was like in that. an era as well, let's not forget, where you had to have it for two years. Mm, you did, so yeah. Chelsea I had that 06, 07 and 07, 08. I think so. And yeah, then yeah, you yeah. do the change. It so actually annoys me that teams now change drop every year. Every year. I, I liked it when teams had the same kit for, for two, two years. years. I'm, I'm a big I fan I don't mind of that well, the man. swapping out the away, away kits. But alternatively. Home, yeah, home, I feel like should have a two year block. Like, let me, let me rinse this shirt for a bit, man. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm. See if we can achieve something. You know what? It's a great talking point, and a lot of football fans will have an opinion on that. So let us know in the comments. Do you think that shirts should it's be changed every year? Up. Sometimes they're changed even more than that. Mm-hmm. It could be a Arsenal six Arsenal release a kit every three months. Yeah. Arsenal. Are but there must be something in the contracts when Bad they sign these deals. Uh, get the kits out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like literally, yeah. literally. Get the tube seat. <laughs> get the tube seat <laughs> out. The tube seat yeah. out. Tube seat what was out. that? <laughs> Remember the one with the anti knife crime and then they ended All up white. getting stabbed All up white. by Norwich? <laughs> or was it? Sorry. Um. <laughs> Not even Forest in the FA Cup. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> what would you say? Best United kidneys. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just go past that. <laughs> Yo, for, for me, it's well, first and foremost any any sharp <laughs> kit, sharp sharp <laughs> with a big collar. I can't lie, the sharp um, era was very. So nice. I'm like mm. ninety six through to about ninety nine. Cantona like era, mm. Cantona, and then obviously then Dwight York started doing the the collar as well. Yeah, that's for me. That's for I me. can't lie. For me, it, funnily enough, kit. I think it was the arguably one of our worst years, the Jose year, where actually I oh, okay. AIA. With the blue bits on the shoulder. The blue bits on the side with yeah, the yellow yeah. coming in. It was the first time where I saw us try something different than the 
basic I plain white. If you, if that makes you know sense. the AIA? That's yeah, red AIA. right now, yeah? Yeah. Change that to navy, your kit looks do you so know, much better. Do you, know, do you know what was the closest to that? The Bale Modric or Razma. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where we had Scott Parker that year, that with the Puma oh, as well. 11, that 12. was nice. Yeah, eleven, twelve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, that was a nice home kit season. As well, I won't lie. Yeah. This season, mm, it's okay. It's a, it's a bit plain in my eyes. Mm. Yeah, a little yellow and blue trim on the end. The template that Nike have gone with this year, um, you can see it's so. Well, like, if you look at that Liverpool one over there, the one directly below it in Barca, the exact same template where it kind of, instead of the collar going right. down, it kind of comes. Do you know up. what our template for our awake is? Barcelona's training kit. Really? Nice. Yeah, same, same with you. You're Nike as well, right? Yeah. And we have got, when you see the watch along later, the first one of the season, by the way, on DR Sports in the Premier League, you will see all of the new kits. We've got all new kits this year. And it's not just the English teams. We've got on the wall, we've got Juventus, Barca, Real Madrid, uh, Bayern Munich. So I'm looking forward to you guys to seeing that as well, actually, because um, that's a big part of what we do here is we have all the new kits on each season. Um, Corey says the Yorkshire Evening Post Leeds United kit was fire. Um, I remember that one. That was the Tony Yaboa era, I think. The Yorkshire Evening Post okay. sponsor on the Leeds kit. I think it was the Yaboa goal. Um, I Spurs third kit, ugliest kit of the season until now, says Dear Cup. The City Hacienda kit, says Football Guy. Um, Don Revy versus Brian Clough or Pep versus Klopp Aye. says Liam Aye. obviously Pep Klopp I'm about to say a kit Portsmouth blue and gold tie Oki written on there oh I thought he was going to go with the tie nah, the, the, tie, the tie was the year they got promoted the Oki was when Redknapp came in yes <laughs> Limboy Prime became a dog <laughs> <laughs> Crouch yeah. FA Cup I said Cran oh, Cranchard Cranchard as well yeah, wasn't yeah, it yeah, yeah Cranchard yeah, yeah, yeah. oh my god that Portsmouth team he had Diara as well didn't he I don't Fourth think period, that team yeah. gets yeah Lazana yeah that's Lizana, where yeah, yeah, yeah. Papa Booba oh mate yeah, they had a team they had a squad yeah yeah they had a proper team they definitely don't get enough, Taylor, you know. yeah. Two Taylors, Matthew Matt, Taylor. Matt, right, Matt right, Taylor's right. got a banger oh, from Matt halfway Taylor, line, Taylor, isn't it? Yeah. Manual was on contender smoke. for goal of the year. Ooh, yeah, the long, yeah. the long shot. Yeah. The big yeah. halfway yeah. line sweepers. Guaranteed. And David, Ryan Taylor would like to smack a well. couple in for Wigan as well. 100%. The two Taylors, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cold. Mad. Some great shouts there, to be fair. Uh, Chelsea have always had the deadest kit. It's like they're Arsenal fans, says Sam B. Do you know what? Let me know Let me know you respond. No, I can't lie to you. I do honestly agree with that to an extent. I don't think it's not a fashion show, innit? It's time to win trophies, Chelsea lads. Kits are never. I'll be honest. The only mm. kit I like, you know, the away one with the the black with the red collar. Maybe two seasons ago it was your third kit. I think it was. I don't even remember that. Do we even <laughs> wear that? I don't think you wore it. I don't think we wore it. Was, was it black and white? Sure, black. Chelsea. We, black. we had a black kit in a while. They had a black and yellow kit. With, yeah, uh, that was wild. That was way, wild. way, way like back. This one, this one here. Oh yeah, oh, that. Yeah. That was hard. I don't know. I don't know. That was hard. Is it because of the, is cause it cause the Nike logo? Is it because of the Nike logo? <laughs> That's why. Uh, right, so I think the, 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 you got the Nike logo. Yeah, you got hoodwinked. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's because of the Nike logo. You, you That's all right. Yes, yeah, it's not too bad. We didn't really wear that too often, though. We didn't really wear that too often. But yeah, it's all right. It's not too bad. We're approaching the second half, guys. Massive shout out to Lee South who sends in a super chat. He says. Is this show now weekly now? Absolutely brilliant. Fair play. <laughs> Thank you, bro. It is weekly. Every Saturday at 2.30. It's the only place to be. Um, well, unless you're at the game. But obviously, if you're there, uh, <laughs> put us on as well. Mm. Um, come on, you Seals, says FJT. Who's the Seals? No? The Seals? seals? I don't um, know what sport that is. I don't is. know the Seagulls. I don't know about the Seagulls. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Adidas is much better than Nike with kit, says Coin Toss. I'm not gonna lie. Right now, Arsenal so. killing the game. Let's just be. Real. Arsenal are killing the game. They have been for a while. Yeah, they have been. Right, right, right now, in this season's Dude, kit launch, Arsenal are but killing the game. Than, they've been doing it for a while they now. Have, right. Arsenal, two or three years, Arsenal they've been top. That that black one with Martinelli at the back, the black and gold. Pink. All of them are good, and it appeals to different. Yeah. Come on now, let's be that black and gold. So when you make pink kits, we laugh. When Arsenal make pink kits, who's the one? Drake started wearing it, and then everyone laughed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. No, but it appeals to the black one. That is a beautiful kit. Look at that. But the thing is, that is a banging kit. They're drip FC. They're like PSG. You know, that look at that man. Fuad, how you look at the oh, it's no no. Look at the Emirates logo as well. Oh, this one, the black one. It's cold. Ooh, it's, it's very cold. cold. And the, and the, 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 the home print. kit's cold as well, though. The bro. print at the back with the way the numbers, the font. Oh my god! 
It's disgusting. Yeah, yeah. I always think that the font a team chooses on their very important, important, critical for sure. See, guys, I can give Arsenal credit. I credit your kits. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant, <laughs> best kits in you the found game. The most irrelevant the whole thing one, to credit. The home <laughs> one is just like your one, essentially. That's the it thing. is. It yeah, yeah. I'm a big fan but, of but the I like our as home well, one yeah. this year because it's, it seems it, it's like we're bringing it a bit more back. Man United, to the, yeah, this, uh, Man United good this year. Yeah, Man United is good this year. Yeah, I no, like it's the it's the same template as the it's Arsenal home kit, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I'm a big I, I like a good collar. collar though, you know. I'm trying yeah. to see it on the wall over there. No, I want to. I am a big fan of that collar. Which I one? Really am. The Arsenal one, just through there. I am right. a big fan I, of the I white like a, collar. I do like a good collar, to be fair. We had a we had a white one first year under Frank, uh, white kit, a little bit of blue, little hint of red, a collar as well. I loved it. Yeah, I remember. I hate your kits when they have red on them. Well, it yeah, doesn't yeah. look right. They, they yeah. get, whenever they put red in their kit, they try and give you this PR spin that we've hint. always been had red in hint. our kit. Yeah, it always just looks. Hint. <laughs> yeah. right, it's come on, man. But you got to admit, blue, white, and red, it clashes nicely. It so doesn't. No, it, yes, it does. You lot have too much blue. When it's like Atletico, <laughs> they have the right balance where it's right and red, with red and white, and then blue shorts. You lot just do so much blue, and then it's not that much red. I'm nah, a collars. Nah, nah, it's a nice <laughs> little, little hint. Atleti are called literally the Rocky Blancos, so red and white is their main colours. Yeah, yeah. Adding in the the blue as well, they went really harsh with that blue last year. I like really that big contrast. I like that. Kit. Mm. Um, and obviously Barca. France as well. They do something. Who's similar. got Barca's kit? De- Barca's kit this Spotify. year is dead. I ain't, see, I ain't seen it because they, they, they announced opinion, the new kit. The the best kit the you show. think it's good? Oh, oh that I one. Barca's yeah. kit with the way the thing goes in like that. The, in the, the multi... Nah, nah. The Barca no, I'm not talking about the stripes. I'm talking about the design of it, the way it comes in. I don't like it. The way nah, it, for me, nah, I think nah, Barca have done a solid kit this year. Not, not and I think it. the last couple of years they've been doing very good kits. It's just a shame they've been so bad. Nah, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not feeling the way the, the design of the, the way it comes in like that. Rittle Boy 190 Super Chat. You need to add the Partick Thistle kit to the DR Studio. Any shouts for the Partick, Partick Thistle, Thistle kit? Scottish team. No? Uh, uh, let me see what it looks like. It might be worth it. Get it up. If they it's are. nice, we'll get it. Our Partick Thistle in the Premier League. I don't think <laughs> we're going to score cover for any of their games, to be honest. Um, oh, Turam scored for Mush and Gladbach. He was meant to be getting a move, Marcus wasn't he? Marcus Turam, yeah. Right, there you go then. The second half has now Son kicked off. It's, a, Perry is it's an interesting kit, to be fair. Oh my goodness me. Is it's, 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 it's doing a lot. Nah, it's nah, doing nah, a lot. Is that Ed, Ed and Eddie? There's a face on it. This is the Barca kit. You're trying to tell me this ain't the best kit in Europe this season. It's not. It's not. It's not. Look at that. Look, bro, this, you see this curve? Look at this. I'm not a fan. It's not the best. That I'm not a fan of that. Hands down. I like this. Kit. This is, but this is normal. The gold. Yeah, it's lovely. The blue it's lovely. a shame they can't register oh, any players to play in this. I'm I'm like, I ain't this seen this kit because they ain't registered no women. Do you know? Do you know I'm not feeling all that. This is the first kit that has given me Ronaldinho. This is yeah. yeah this is. I hear that. I hear that. I hear this. I hear this. This is wonderful. But this here at the top ruined it. Rafinha's about to cook. Ruined. If he can get registered, he's not even registered, bro, Rafinha. I don't worry. It's ruined. Who's we? Huh? Who's yeah, we? Who is, I'm co- huh? Who's who do you support, bro? <laughs> Clearly, Barca who would have guess. Hold on. Did you just did you just say we? Ooh, he did. did. You just say he we? said we. Did you just say we? I said we. What is gonna we. happen? I said we. And when you play, if you play him in Champions League, is it still we? Who? Who? <laughs> <laughs> I love how this is all. Oh, God. Listen, I like Barca, man. Uh, you I, do you know I, what? I used to like Barca. I used to like Barca until they messed up our whole transfer window. I used to hate. Barca for about 15 And now years. you like them. This is the wrong then time when to I like them. Yeah. When Messi finally walked out the door, when I saw them on their knees, I said, come here. I <laughs> no, 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 no. I have a vision for you. And I called it a year ago. You're taking it in, You're taking it Locos here when I said... Chavi should be the next manager. Mm. They should bring through Gavi and Pedri. A year ago, no. it's on YouTube. Listen, I called it all. It happened, and then I said in the summer they should back him with some superstars. What's happening now? But I, they can't so register. They them. can't register. Listen, I used to love Barca <laughs> when they had a, a little bit integrity's more integrity's gone integrity, way down, bro. Identity, bringing Lost through class. the young, the youngsters, out of, uh, Messiah. Do you know what I'm saying? And they and they just they from top to bottom, beautiful football, everything. Now it's like we since, don't, since we, they sold Neymar, they've been a uh, bro. Now they don't. Listen, now they don't. There's no rules. We're balancing, no regulations. Right now. We're balancing the books right now. What do you we? mean? What do you mean we? <laughs> this is balancing disgusting. the books. Let me talk. This is, oh, this, is, this, is a, this is why he wants the pie to go Tottenham. It helps Barca <laughs> and it helps <laughs> Tottenham. Hey, man. help me, help, help me, help us. you. <laughs> <laughs> Just go watch oh. the Spurs game, mate. <laughs> <laughs> this guy, oh, man. Two one up. Two one up. So far, the second half, bro. Hundred percent. You got us. I love a team in each league. I, no, no, I love no, no, Barca no, 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 when no, 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 Ronaldinho no. was there, Ronaldo yeah, before not that. the same club. But literally, as Ronaldo joined Real Madrid, I hate Barca. 
That's it. I hate Barcelona. I can't like you anymore. No. Got Man United legend at Real Madrid. Me, it was always. That was it. It was weird, but it was like Atletico for since the Torres days. And in Madrid, I was just. I don't know what it is. When they had that Dutch era of Van Nistelrooy, Schneider, Robin, oh, okay. I jumped on board then and I was like, yeah, you wait for Lona. Bunned it for about 10 years. Then I saw them on their knees, everyone celebrating their downfall. I was like, nah, man. It reminded you I of like, Tottenham. Yeah. And you said, yeah. Oh, is, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> it reminded you of Tottenham and you were like, down in the I'm, 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 I'm getting a similar you know vibe what? here. I'm going to be there when the stocks are low. Yeah. And they're back up. But, Just but know I was there. With Tottenham, the stocks never came back up. This is the risk you run. We're coming. We're coming. We're coming. <laughs> that was an interesting one. If you had now, compla- uh, now um, a Barcelona fan. And what, so what, we'll what take about Menos que un club? Menos que un club at the minute, though. Huh? Less than a club at the minute. <laughs> <laughs> never mind. More, More than, than a club. club. Fam, you're not even <laughs> giving De Jong any love right now. Um, I like Barcelona when Liverpool slap them up 4 0, <laughs> says Liam. <laughs> Uh, this Spurs Donny is deluded. Loving teams on the down spurs it up, says Nimish. Mm. Go on. Oh, look, Newcastle. Oh, we say, man? To I'm an enjoyer. Oh, oh, Newcastle. Oh, he cuts back. What I'm is he doing? doing? Oh, is he my doing? God. What is he doing? Is poor, doing poor, poor, poor. Is Matty at the game? Bet he is. Yes, he is. Matty is at the Matty game Matty doing the fan cams after, yeah, for the Magpie channel. Cross Go comes on. in from Trippier. Oh, just not tall enough there, so Maximum. Um, Nico Williams having a good game so far from what I can see for Forrest. 50 minutes in, 40 minutes to go. Will Forrest stay up? We've spoken about their transfer activity so far. Um, it's difficult to say this early, isn't it? We just don't know what could happen. They could you know, become the next Palace and stay in the league for, mm-hmm. for ages. We don't know, but Forrest, <coughs> can they stay up? No. Um, I hope so. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. Very yeah, it's more hope. <laughs> Very insightful. Like Leeds, no, no, it's like Leeds <laughs> and Forest are like your two teams where the nostalgia, big clubs, pedigree, you want yeah. them in the league. But is that really logical? Leeds right now, I'm not going to lie, they look really weak as well. May, imagine if they both went down. That would be that would be tough to take. No Rafinha, no, um, no Phillips. Yeah. Bamford, mm. can he stay fit? Yeah. So we might see both of the big teams go back down. Um, but I hope Forest stay up. I'm not sure. I, I think it's, it's these questions so, are easier so to answer long. when the window's over because I know Nottingham Forest are still fishing around. For it's more it's been so long since Forest have been in the league. For them mm. to go back down straight away, that would yeah, be, be rough. Yeah, yeah, it'll be rough. The problem rough. is, you always need a, I feel like a 10 to 15 goal a season striker if you're going to be one of those promoted clubs. I don't know if they have that. They've signed Awani, who I think is going to be that, but has the he number nine it? on the bench. Yeah. Surridge just, scored just a lot of goals league last league year. Just in league league I think yeah. about 12 or 13 goals in the Bundesliga last year. So came through Liverpool's academy. So I think they're hoping yeah. he can kind of give him something. But is Lingard going to bang at Forest? I just see too many championship caliber players in their team. Mm. And Lingard, in all honesty, I don't think is... It's a risk him, for I, him and them. When he went to West Ham, it was like a nice situation where... West there was Ham were actually, that was his well. level. Yeah. There was a yeah. system in place. He yeah. was almost like the icing on the cake, mm. if you like, or the cherry on top. Yeah. This, he's walking into a team that's... He's actually, got a carry. Yeah, yeah. It's a whole different animal. And I pressure. think, listen, now you're going to have to earn those wages. And that's the thing. There's going to be pressure on him to actually deliver this year. And if he doesn't... I feel West Ham was more vibes. Vibes. United... Yeah, West Ham like, it was more vibes. Antonio and Rice in the changing room, dancing. Mate, you know what I mean? You've it actually got quality he's, he's around to grow. Yeah, he's got to grow. Okay. yeah, you had I'm Ben not Rama. Having, you I'm had not having the best Bowen, day Ben Rama can turn up. Bowen. Antonio, Skamaka maybe. Bowen. Here, if Rice, he doesn't yeah. turn up, that's it. Finish. Up. That's it, it's over, yeah. But I think it's also the fact that he only took a one-year contract. They could only afford a one-year contract but I mean, if but, they go down. Yeah, that's true. But also, does he really believe that they can stay up? Is he already going there with that's, some doubts to say, well, not I'm not going to be with you. Because if you back, if you believe they're going to stay up, you take a two-year contract. Because we're going to be here next year in the Premier League as well. Mm-hmm. But he has his doubts. And of course, they have their doubts. They have to protect themselves but financially. They're paying him, what, 200k a week. So I yeah. think one year is as max as you want to go with that contract as well. well. Carl Walker's Peter's down again. Head injury. Oh, really? We've got a head, head, head injury here up. as well. Does Sessignon have a goal disallowed? Sessignon. So this is, the only, this is the only game with no goals in it at the moment. Yeah, and we're watching QPR it. absolutely wiping the floor <laughs> with Middlesbrough, by the way, as well. Um, LJ Jack, Brown saying, few ads analysis should be questioned at all times. He's a Barca spy. Matisse, watch out, bro. <laughs> I'll be keeping an eye on him, man. Listen, someone, someone's been tapping up our chest <laughs> for this. <week. laughs> 
partly I can't like you. Who. Part of the reason why I've started to like Barca even more now is them because punching up Chelsea all summer. I'm just like, hey, mm. do your thing, big bro. <laughs> Sepaher says hey, clubs in America had Red Tube and Bimbo as sponsors. No joke, AGT. Never heard the of them. The thing is, the never th- heard of them. <laughs> <laughs> don't know what you're talking about. The funny thing is, you can get away with that in America. Maybe not today, 2022, but in England. You could have like the local gun shop yeah. you know, <laughs> sponsoring your kit out there. It's mad England. what they get away with. Um, the referee agenda against Arsenal, but that's not a conspiracy. It's fact, says Jake Snacks 11. Oh, not this again. Um, apparently, this Bimbo is a bread, ba- a bread brand, says Colino. Not better than Alisson. Not the goalkeeper. Fair enough. <laughs> um, right, 54 minutes in. Any more goals in the, well, in the championship? QPR 3, Middlesbrough 2. That's a little classic down there okay. at the Killian Prince Wait, Stadium. Oh, it's free two. Free they were free, free up. up. Nice free two. <laughs> free new up. <laughs> Can the Borough get a third goal? Wow. Any Borough fans in the chat? Let me know. That was a quick turnaround. Hey. They were freeing it up at half time. Where the Bremen are back in the I've got to say, these um, Arsenal fans starting already with this, this, uh, Referee agenda. What was me? Yeah. We all have the same referees throughout the season. Referees are human. They're going to make mistakes. They don't make more mistakes for Arsenal. They, they always come up with these, Close them down. These, uh, these tables about, oh, if VAR had made this decision, this way we would be. Well, every decision affects the next decision. So if someone had got a yellow card in the first half, they might not have got sent off in the second half or would have got a goal that was disallowed. At the end of the season, the table does not lie. Doesn't Wherever lie. you finish is where you deserve to finish. No ifs, no buts, no, no VAR, maybe. no nothing. Sound like James Redmond. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no <laughs> ifs, buts, <laughs> absolutes. Big up to Jay. I'm tired of it. We're one game um, in, guys. Enjoy your win. So, right, 55 minutes in now. A little yellow card there for uh, Colback, is that? Yeah. I mean, again, another player who's been around for so long. Yeah, oh, that's Jesus naughty. Christ. That's like uh, Kalini on Saka. <laughs> yeah. It really is. Um, Newcastle right, Newcastle need, need a goal here because as longer it goes... It. They're missing um, that X factor, I'm telling you. At nil-nil, the more confidence Forrest will have. If Forrest get a point here away, by the way, Big what point. a result Yeah, for a yeah. first of the season. You've got Bournemouth winning. Fulham yeah. already Aquata, got that's a draw. That's what they need, yeah. I'm telling you. And mm. Forrest currently drawing. Like defence, they're okay. The yeah. I think so Just too. Especially when Botman, well. yeah, Pope, Botman, mm-hmm. um, Burns, really Callum good Wilson. Wilson. Oh, yeah. oh, it's Trippier a good save for Dean well. Henderson. There's a lot of teams that I'm looking at and I'm thinking, finish him. Go to Newcastle. They have scored. Finally, Fabian Shaw. Wow. I'm guessing it was a header. He was down with a head injury not too long ago. But the Geordies, the Toon Army, are celebrating. They're going wild. Because Fabian Shaw has kicked off their new season with a goal with half an hour to go. Wow. Mad. I think, um, I was just about to say before they scored, there's a lot of players in attacks for these teams that need to step up this season. I was looking at Palace against Arsenal. Eze, love you. Great vibes. Elysee. Oh yeah. You, Elysee is what you got to finish your dinner. Are you? Chelsea, oh, the whole attack. Edward, yeah, Edward, yeah. Like, there's so many players in these attacks. Even we this Newcastle it, yeah. attack, you know. You want more goals from from um, from your forwards. From your forwards, you know, the not just not just Callum Wilson. Bills, yeah, you, they really everybody's got. A step Shaw up this goes season. for goal. Whoa! Oh, sorry, no. It weren't no header. Oh my god! I apologise, wow. Fabian Shaw. Wow. I apologise. I said it would be a header. It wasn't. It was <laughs> a thirty-five <laughs> yard screamer that's almost broken the net. What? That one's goal. almost landed god in the damn. river on the tyne itself. Matty Redden will be going absolutely wild wow. right now. What a goal for you, Ad. Listen, bruv. Today's a day of the wing backs and the centre backs. <laughs> Reaching to the top draw and pull that out, yeah. bruv. That yeah. is incredible. Good this short corner, taken quickly. And um, they just worked it well. No. Oh. Great turn. Oh. ASM. Yeah, brilliant. He's, he's their outlet for creativity. So it's cleared fairly well by Forrest. Shah yeah. picks up in a right wing position. Nobody thinks, right, I've got so some no space. Nobody expected Bang! It. Bang. Hold that. Nobody expected it. Hold Sledge that. hammer. Yeah, nobody expected that. And, and you again, know what? He's someone who, since Eddie Howe has come in, has actually been one of their massively better players as well. Oh I think a lot of Newcastle me. fans want That's him That's hit the post and gone in, Along with Jamal Lascelles. Clip. Bruv, look yeah, at that. Clippage, clippage. Is that 25 yards? Posting in as well. That's the Do you know what? I'd actually say it's 20 yards. 20 yards. I think I said 35. You said 35. Go, yeah. go. You, you went, you went go for Tottenham. 3 1. Oh, Salisu, own go, here goal. Here 61 here go, minutes here in. Here we go. Here we go. Own goal. And Tottenham are 3 1 up. 
What did we predict? That two early one? scare. I think Let's so. have I a look at I said three. What did I predict? Two one? Let's just have a look at the predictions. This is for oh. my own sake, just to see oh my God. if we're close. What an absolute bozo on goal that is, I'm sorry. Who, who got Emerson who got overlaps, basically. Oh, that's awful. Crosses it with his that's left foot and Sally, so he just literally kicks it into he his If he didn't touch it, it would not have gone in. It's genuinely there. not a good cross. There's, <laughs> nobody, no, there's no threat around there. him. Yeah. And he's just kicked it into zone net. G- all he needs to do is not Damn. touch that. If he was not there, Southampton don't concede. There's nobody that there. That is such an odd goal to Oof. concede. Oh, you know what that is? That's the problem strike. being so one-footed. Yeah. When you're just over no like, confidence yeah. to even connect with your other foot. Right. If, he, if he honestly isn't there, that doesn't go in. There's no pressure. Damn, oh, Spurs, 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 Spurs for the title. Can't go right. Insane. I win the Spurs. Come on, my <laughs> Before his bathroom. <laughs> you better win something this season, you know. It's been a while. Don't do not do that. What? Focus on... There's rice at home for you to focus on. What do you mean? You better win something. I've seen plenty Big in my lifetime. Hype. Big money there's coming no in. Hype. Champions League make me liquidated. You no got Lukaku this year. You better prove us why. Bro, there's, there's no, bro I've seen you. trophies in my lifetime. I'm good, bro. You Four guys, one. though, he's starving. 4-1 to Tottenham and it's Dejan Kulusevski. <laughs> Can bro, you believe it? rice at home. <laughs> <laughs> Kulusevski. Hey, and my it's turning baller. into a bit of a rout here, if I'm honest. Tottenham running away with it now. Two goals in two minutes. And Dejan Kulusevski starts this season where he finished off last season. What was it? You see, you were talking about goal and assist for Nunes earlier. Oh, this, this is a proper goal and assist, yeah? Emerson assist. Look at, this, look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this. Watch him, watch him. Kulusevski cam this right here. Picks it up. You could just see it. Yeah. You could it's see it from a mile away. The ball IQ. That's Emerson touch. assist. Mm. Finish. Emerson assist. Vision. Give him his prop. Listen, Emerson's got two assists. The own goal. Who do you yeah. think the goal? True, true, Listen, true, true. I, you ain't heard no Emerson slander since the first goal. <laughs> <laughs> I call it how it is. You made up for it. I wanted to say when you were talking about Kuliseski earlier, he, that signing in January went under the radar. And I say it because... The signing of the season. Because people were hyping up the Luis Diaz one. And that was a good signing for Liverpool. Don't get me wrong. But people were saying... Best signing of the season, sign, best January sign. Kulusevski was a better signing. I think it was year. Kulusevski, and that pains me to say, it but was, I think he it was. was. Quality. And that's why I didn't truly understand why they bought Richarlison, because why would you need him if Kulusevski's there for depth. me? Depth, you need I hear that. I hear that. I hear that. I actually had a mate um, who I had a bet with the other day, Tottenham fan. I said, I bet you fifty pounds that Kulusevski does not. Sorry, that Richarlison does not score over eight league goals for Everton this season. He was thinking he's. Got a winner. I was thinking I've got a winner in that one. I'm wrong with a cross and it's blocked. You mean the eighty goals for Tottenham? For for Tottenham, yeah. yeah. Well, he, he, pro- he probably won't score more than that. Yeah, yeah. Because so he, he, he gets in. Was it first. ten last season, Mike? In all, in Prem for him? He, I think it was nine because he scored four with them in the last four games. So I mean, he, he's like right. Yeah, I mean, he's he's not going to score more than eight, in my opinion, for Spurs this season. Currently suspended for I the old flair. Chance or oh, it's like would pinball it? in the box. If he, if he was to get eight goals, that would represent good money for 60 million, would it? Who, Kulusevski? No, or Richarlison. Richarlison. No. For me, the th- this is the issue I have but with the, the Richardson side. Yeah. So the money is if he dislodges Kulusevski from the team. Right, so what is, this is the issue I have with like calling market signings and the market dictates the fee. Do you think this guy is worth the money? Personally, I don't think so. No, Which was why I, I feel like for Ooh. the role he's going to be signed for, I feel like we've just had to overpay because we haven't had good quality cover. So it's like, all right, we've got a guy who's proven in the Premier League. Let's get him in. The issue I have with Charleston, I don't know his best position. Is he a number nine? Is he a left winger? Is he a right winger? But no one can definitively tell me one. That's the thing. Then I look at his best attributes. Is he a great finisher? Not really. Is he a great 1v1 dribbler? Not really. He's good a good pigeon, crosser. though. Very good, good pigeon. Good. Uh, does he have a final ball that you can constantly rely on? Yeah, he's got a decent celebration, but that's about it. But a lot of the decent. times, what's talked about Richarlison is work rate. Mm. Oh, his movement. Mm. And these are things I'm thinking, 60 million for that. But, 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 and but, and but when you pay that be, price, though, comes the expectation no, but of, it might, but, but oh, we need some return. He could be a wing-back. He was what, in top what, percent of the interceptions, tackles, getting, all these things. Uh, 20 million <laughs> backup like you have in the past, and them not being good enough to even come off the bench. So that's the. You, you, so you last risk. season we had Scarlett. Uh, unless Kane gets injured, this is where the backup question becomes an issue for me. Me, my thing is, is I felt like we dived too early for Richarlison. Everton, who are in financial 
issues mm. supposedly were basically giving them money to say oh don't worry we'll soften the blow for you no make it harder for them tell them all right you're broke we're going to make you suffer a little bit two years to run on this contract so essentially now the price only starts ticking downwards so for me it's a case of why would you go and overpay for Richardson when I'm looking at Dan Juma is a cheaper alternative. Memphis Depay, I stated earlier, is a cheaper alternative. Even Gabriel Jesus, who well, okay, did, did wanted to go him. Arsenal. We did go in for him. He didn't want... But I'm thinking but Jesus there's better start. quality Jesus options for that money, but in no, my but opinion. Is, no, but is there better quality options who are willing to sit on the bench or fight for their position? For That's me, the, the fact that Richarlison is willing to sit on a bench in a World Cup year where you are Brazil's number one is concerning. What's the... Other than Memphis Jesus Depay, has gone to the other side but, of London. Yeah, but you know? Jesus is going to start. Jesus wouldn't go to. That's the difference. Jesus, Jesus wants to start. So he, he would be a bad Jesus signing for you off of being because a rotational player yeah. already. Yes. Exactly. Whereas Richardson so, is used to start. He he's not worth million. And Richardson is just thinking. Listen, Richardson has to prove himself at this level, at the Champions League level. Mm. I feel like Jesus has already won titles. That's why he's kind of now. All right, now yeah, I need I've, to prove it. Yeah, I've got my things to do. Yeah. I want to play now. I want to play now. I want to get my. Richardson, I feel like I'm not personally. I'm not a huge fan of the signing. I get why we've made it from a versatility aspect. Yeah. He covers a lot of positions, but I definitely think we overpaid for a player who I think for the whole season is going to have that price tag hanging over his head when he's not starting regularly in the starting line because this front three is going to be undroppable. Yeah. I'm telling you now, they are not going to be dropped for this guy. Which is why I've said he won't get more than eight. Which and and, and guess what? I hear it. I've said I don't know what the target is. If he hits double figures for me, it's a success. Mm. But yeah, it still might not prove value 100%. for money. No, it doesn't. No, but the value, the value, you can't look at his value purely from him. The value becomes if so-and-so is injury. injured yeah. or if so-and-so is off form. Then you see or the you need someone to it's change the game, starter, you basically. bring him on. So if you're looking at 60 million, therefore you have to be starting and it's bad value for money. 100% it's a flop already because he's not going to do Thing that. Is, but as a squad you are better equipped to compete in four competitions he, Everton, in a World Cup year with him mm, rather than without him. Mm. At Everton, he, he started on average about 38 plus games per season, all comps. 12, 13 Not goals that. within that. Yeah. So I'm like, if you're now going to be downgraded to a squad <coughs> option coming off the bench, I'm assuming those numbers are going to take a hit as well, in my opinion. So that's why when Spurs fans are getting on to me like, oh, why don't you love Richarlison? He's going to be one of... And I'm like... I because I don't moving. think he's going to be that needle mover that we actually need. And in my, th as I said at the start of the show, we had other areas that needed addressing. So the, only, the only needle movers you think you've brought in are Basuma and Perisic. and Perisic. That's it. That's all the movement. others. I think even Perisic is the only one that's joined because we've got Champions League. But all the others, if we finished fifth last we year, got we could have got Basuma. Yeah, we could have got Basuma. Yeah. Mm. We could have got Jed Spence. We yeah. could have got uh, Forster. Yeah, yeah, Richarlison. Yeah, they would have so for me, it's like, so, so, my, so, my issue, so my issue as a Spurs fan this window is we've got a world-class manager. We've got Champions League football. We've got record revenue that we're saying we're and giving our manager. still haven't gone and brought in the big, the, big. The, the needle moves. And I'm not saying, oh, go and get me Mbappe. But I know what quality looks like. And you personally, Bastoni. I wanted a Bastoni. And by all means, you were necessary. For Bastoni. He said no. Mm, I accept time. that. Cool. What's the backup options? Mm. We don't have one. All right, we're going to start Ben Davis this season. Long you know lay. We're going to get Langley. Ling -ling, Ling -ling. It's just a little bit... Uh, <laughs> it doesn't it down, Underwhelming. You know. Yeah. So for me, it's like, I understand we've got numbers in, but have we actually improved? Where, where do I you look think at you're finished right now? Because I'm not going to lie. Yeah, I, right now, I like the way I, I people are talking I, about Chelsea. I tweeted it last mm. uh, two days ago, and Spurs fans started killing me. I said, I don't see us finishing top four the right way, now. The way people are talking what, about Chelsea... Right now, I look people, at Arsenal. I love it. Arsenal, understand, Arsenal only missed out on top four because they fumbled it. Yeah, but you... The whole but season, you know, but yeah, they were in that correct, prime position. But you didn't have Conte for the whole, the whole season. season. I get that. But Arsenal fumbled it because they, they fumbled the it, depth, right? But they, even now, their depth is still ropey a little but bit. Now they, I feel like they brought in Zinchenko. They mm. brought in Jesus. They brought in... Um, yeah, did you Gerard see their bench well? against Palace? It was still ropey. That. They've got players well, missing. I think, are, anyway, under players players I think they've got a full season of I think you lot as well. I Listen, I like... People, people bro, are sleeping on Chelsea. I love it. Full season of people, a full season of Ben Tanker. Obviously, you've got Perisic in. You've got Basuma in. Full season of Kulisovsky. And you've got a full... Yeah, I said that. And Ben Tanker. And you've got a full season of Conte. Mm. The, the manager aspect cannot that, be uh, underplayed. Abs, that's and he's that's my class. only hope for top four. Arteta's, I'm being real. With I, you. Like, I, like I don't way. think depth wise. I don't think we're that quality. Mm. I don't think starting eleven wise. I still think we have massive holes in our wing back areas and at the left centre back area. I think midfield. We don't have a natural creator in that midfield. So when we play against the low block, 
Who's going to break it down? Are you still going to rely on Harry Kane? No, yeah, you, you need a, a midfielder. You definitely a midfielder. So there you go. But that's Brian Gill. That's got to be Gill. Like, why did you spend 25 million on this player if he's not going to be part of your team and helping you actually do things? It's an interesting question. I'm looking forward but to it. I like the way people are talking about Chelsea. My thing is, I think, I think we're in the same Sterling. situation last year. Yeah. I think Cucurella, Fofana all comes in, De Jong comes in. Bro, listen, they all go straight into the 11. You see that? Significant no, 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 straight no, no. away. Okay, watch this. Sterling. Yeah. Starts. Doesn't walk, but doesn't walk into Spurs' front three. Doesn't walk in. No, he doesn't. Yeah, he doesn't. That, their attack it's a, is so, much better. So for sure. it's a, our it's attack a, is our only area where no, it's but, like but, that. But the point is, so if you buy a forward, we're talking about you buy a forward. Mm. There's not many forwards you get who can get into the front three anyway. Mm -hmm. So you he, have. But that's why he's saying, did you have to spend 60 million on a player that isn't really. But, no, but, okay, anyway. but is it the but money why you didn't strengthen the other positions? Or is it that those players didn't want to come? Or weren't available, yeah, exactly, whatever. Yeah, Same yeah. with Luis Diaz. They they'd literally signed him until we came along as well. Didn't want to go there in the end. Yeah, I think listen, your point that's going to happen. My point is, is you have your quality targets that you want, but you have option A, option B options. Mm. I don't feel like there is, we have an option A, option A says no, and it's like, all right. right Rafinha said no. What did you say? Sterling, yeah, yeah, coming. Yeah. Okay, uh, someone's so stunning. De Jong, go get him. Mm. It's, there's no faffing around with these big clubs when they're moving for players. And it's like, they people, people don't like the way we're like moving. Qualities. You, you do, but some people are saying people are scattergun. Like, oh, we're scattergun. Yes. The, the way for me, is, the every time I'm seeing well. it's, it's a quality player. Yeah, it's it always quality players. It might be the one you want, yeah, but yeah. it's a quality yeah. player. All three of for the players we brought in have been quality the players. The wages are a factor. You couldn't go and get Sterling because he's on 300,000 a week. And if he's but, on 300,000 a week, Kane wants 400,000. So, so, so mm -hmm. if we're saying we finally have money for the first time in our lives in Champions League football, but, what but is the point if we can't break and, the wage Transfer fee are completely two different things. Wage structure is there forever. Mm -hmm. Transfer fees are one off payment. So, if you've got cash in that, I'm not now, saying, I don't even know why you mentioned Sterling because I don't even, I don't even think Sterling would have been an issue. I'm no. saying, start at this window. First, two things Spurs should have done sign a real right wing back, mm. not a championship talent, right. and sign a left centre back. So, Finally, you can look at that back five and say, do you know what? Mm. This is the base. You were of telling what them. To, I remember on. a video saying, let's go go in for Jed Spence, though. No, Jed Spence. What did I say in that video? Rotation said, option. Absolutely. I said, Jed Spence comes in as line. a rotation option. <laughs> <laughs> you see that? They, 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 they tried. 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 Listen, Dion, I, we need no, to no, have no. a Dion word. Did me justice. He just tried to do the <laughs> other word, yeah? Because I Robbie, Robbie, I'm even watching I'm you, man. Clipped, <laughs> even I've been clipped a couple of times on that Twitter.com, and I'm, I'm seeing the headlines, yeah, from, from the producers, hey. and I'm not, I'm not feeling the headlines. I'm hey, not listen, liking it. It's, play, it's the game, don't it? Go on. <laughs> listen, a couple nah, of but stuff. I said he should be a squad option. A, a couple of comments on Richarlison, because that really has split your opinion in the comments, guys. Really has. Um, some people saying 60 mil for a bench warmer. Can you believe it? Others saying that um, he's expected to come in and be the backup to Kane. We've actually done a poll. Is Richarlison the right signing for Spurs? 42% of you say yes. 58% of you say no. Um, as Spurs currently do sit on top of the table. Um, right. Going back to Arsenal. Guys, you're all football guys. You will have watched it. Yeah. The Amazon All or Nothing documentary. I ain't seen it yet. You haven't seen I it. Yet. it. <laughs> <laughs> we ain't football oh, guys. We ain't football no, no, guys. I ain't had time. I've seen it. Me and Fiu are going to have to talk about it then. I ain't had time to watch it. Me and Fiu are then. Right. Right. Do you see what my team are doing in the market? I can't even keep up with that. I ain't got time well, to exactly. watch it. You see what my year. team are doing? Nothing. I ain't got time for that. The one thing I did see <laughs> was his uh, impassioned speech before they thumped Norwich 1-0. And I thought... If what, this from is the uh, kit man? No, 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 from Arteta, when you're talking about how he nearly died at birth and all that. Guys, when I was two, I, I have said, heart condition. Okay. If this is what you have to do to beat Norwich 1-0 at the Emirates, it's a long season. To be fair, though, that was on the back of like three know, defeats, so they had to change it around. Uh, put it this way, the first three episodes are boring. Oh. And Apart the reason, from the, the reason Anfield why, visit, though. The reason why it's honest. boring is because as... As we're watching it as rivals, it's the nice part, the squad building, mm. Ben White's getting introduced, mm. Arteta's doing that. No, Guys, no, we I have to build bro. as a team and I character. Disagree. We saw a lot, <laughs> we saw a lot <laughs> of downs in that. This, three, is, this three is the, episodes. you know, the nice little build up before the, the comedy, Leeds, the comedy go. show is Has coming. it all come out yet? Nah. Go for oh, Leeds. Three, three episodes first. Go for Leeds. Aronson has scored two on. Brendan Aronson, the <laughs> American, I believe it is. He's a winger. Um, Aronson has scored two on up. Uh, yeah, he just come in to replace Rafinha, Jesse I believe. Yeah, can we get um, some subs, please? Did you see the clip of um, Leeds' owner, I think, speaking on the Rafinha transfer? That was so insightful. It was so interesting to watch. He was saying, like, look, I had a... So many clubs were interesting. Uh, we had oh, Arsenal, right, we had Tottenham, <laughs> we had Chelsea, we had Barca. We had an agreement with Chelsea. <laughs> 
we didn't want to take back that agreement because he said it's man disrespectful of man of my work. But then for some reason <laughs> that he kept saying we had to sell to Barca. And I'm I, I'm still trying to understand what's you going didn't on. Have to exactly. Sell to I'm no, still no, trying no. to understand what's going on in football. Do you know you what it is? Well, let me they tell you. No, they didn't offer more money. The money's expected on the 2nd of September. If the money don't come, he said there's going to be a global case that the world will see. He said global case. I was like, I actually kind of wish to hope that they don't pay. I want to see if he really means that. But let me give you an example. If Richarlison said, well, I'm not going unless I sign. Rafinha. Yeah. Then it's a Rafinha. Yeah. And they've then, already signed the six players then, like Grealish. They've already spent the yeah, money. You're at a loss. So mm. they kind of they were forced to sell yeah. to Barca yeah. because Richarlison doesn't have to. He can Rafinha. stay. Out. <laughs> they're both Brazilian they're though. not the same but, 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 so I, I hear you but, I hear you but then you say to Rafinha it's a World Cup year you're not moving unless you go to the team that's paying me up front because I need this money now or you're staying here threaten him let's see take it to deadline day let's see what happens uh, uh, are you really going to sit at Leeds for another season are you seeing that team? Is that a risk Leeds can take? I think he can. Because if they come down like he does not move, <laughs> then you're sitting there with a 60 million pound player and six new signings. Yeah. And, but you're staying and up. Are you, are you, are you, you, might, you might not. You might not stay No, in the World Cup, yeah. One thing I'll say about these Brazilian players, they don't seem to down tools. No. I yeah. don't really see it. And that, that's the one pro I'm going to give Richardson for signing wrong. for you guys. Mangala, is that he's got that dog in him. Which and one? you know Conte needs them, them, them spiritual warriors. That is one thing I will say. is he The pine might not fight for Conte. He definitely, yeah. He definitely does strike me as a guy who I think Conte will love working with. But the thing is, it's, I've seen these types of profiles like a Lucas Moura Hard for work. the past four years. Mm. Lamella for six years before that managers come in and love them and everybody in the fan base always has a section of them that's like oh I just appreciate their dogged hard work in this I just hope Richarlison doesn't come in and think dogged and hard work is what's going to get him through and be worth 60 million and become yeah. an addition to the squad I want him to come in and actually be an upgrade when he comes on he looks like a threat he's actually contributing towards the team not just kind of giving us hard work and we're saying ah passionate merchant because I've had Listen, more. I've had gonna get photos in North London derby of him squaring up to players, and that's all you need, man. Yeah. Listen, I'm you, if that's he can give me that tweet. energy, yeah. North London derby, I love that. That's, that's the one game where I love. I love me some dog. <laughs> that's, that's what he did uh, against Liverpool. He'd have a he'd on, put a picture up of him and Trent going head yeah. to head and say "blue till I die" or something. Yeah. But they lost. Four they one, lost the game, so didn't they? Yeah. yeah. You know, I, I'm not a fan of that. Mike's over there, just like. What was that, Mike? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh man, that's all good, bro. I'm um, and let's go. Let's touch today. back on nah, the the Arsenal all, all or Nothing documentary. Uh, three episodes out, three more out next week and the week after. We've seen Arteta try to galvanise his players before a trip to Anfield. Um, he brought out two speakers at London Colney to play. You never walk alone through Hilarious. those measly two well, speakers. What? They don't. They, they lost, don't. Even... Well, they lost four nil. Oh. So Liverpool, you tell me. do not play. You'll never walk alone while the game is on. Yeah, exactly. That's why I didn't understand. Yeah. What are you doing, my That's, brother? The players are now going to be on the pitch. That's probably what happened. And they're thinking, where's that song again that you were saying that was going to be on? Picture what did I do with that? When they hit that note, did I yourself. pass it around? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> picture yourself as an Arsenal player. Yeah. Imagine the inferiority complex. Yeah. You must think your manager has. Yeah. Like, that I'm, you I'm need that. that. Yeah, yeah. Need, I'm looking at my manager like, you, it's like giving serious. It's like giving someone a calculator in a non-calculator paper. Bro. Mm. Like, you're saying you're disrespecting me. You're disrespecting me. Basically, like, in the in the documentary he says, guys, in Spain we have a word called baja. It baja. means when uh, baja. it's I love, Spanish. I, I love the Spanish. <laughs> Callum Wilson goal for Newcastle great. 2 0. And he goes, It's like when you are like this, everything is good. And then you come down, finish. There's so much going on, you don't know. Can what you to do the whole show just speaking like that? And I have this one time <laughs> in my career. It was Hanfield. And then he goes into the change room and says, I came here, we lose 5-1. I hide, guys. <laughs> Don't hide today. If you're the manager, why are you admitting? Hide, why are you telling your players how <laughs> shook you are? Brav. Brav. It, it just, for me, guys, just don't be like me. Be better than me. It just screamed <laughs> inferiority complex. And I'm like, you're not giving these players any confidence. Mm. You're not giving them a mental pick-me-up yeah. or, or tricking the psyche. You're mm. actually making them weak in, yeah. in aspect. Here's a question. But One club each. All or nothing documentary you'd like to see? Go. Chelsea. Chelsea's a great shout. We needed it last year. Imagine. Barca. It's got to be Barca. Barca. Your team, oh, right now, yeah, yeah, Barca. Yeah, Barca yeah. I need to know Ooh, the cocaine Laporta's doing behind closed doors. 2-0. That was that was that did you see him at the Lewandowski goal? announcement? Keeper Moore, oh, goal. Bournemouth, wow. Say that again. Villa. Did you see uh, Laporta at the um, Lewandowski announcement? Yeah. 
That man was charged. Yeah. So I need to know this summer what he's been doing. So a, Barca, a, a body Chelsea. cam following him around. It, yeah, but you know in Barca they turn it off when they do the big <laughs> yeah, deals. Sort of when the brand envelopes come out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> when the door guys, goes. Guys, guys, cameras off. Camera, cameras camera off, down, cameras off, please, guys. Thank you. <laughs> Baka. Hey, but another thing on that all or nothing doc we need to touch on as well. What did you lot make of, what did you make of actually since you watched it, of the um, photographer's you know, it was a bit smart, uh, the thing is, it's, yeah, it's, it's smart club. It's smart fucking club. I love this club. Yeah, I love this club. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm label. Honestly, I mean, <laughs> I understand. <laughs> the sentiment. What did go, I, go what, on. I need to watch this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I, when I find some time, I'm gonna watch this. And his, his, his lips, from his lips when trembling. trembling. <laughs> <laughs> This is my club. Is that, did that That's come a off Wilson? Finish. Did that come off Wilson's Wilson. final touch? That's an incredible finish. Let's have a look. Outside the right boot. Outside the boot, flicks it. Flicks it over the keeper. That's an unbelievable oh. finish. Callum if, Wilson if off the top. mark. Newcastle 2, Forest 0. And That's it is Bournemouth finish. 2, Aston Villa 0. Not a great start for Stevie G at all. Kiefer Moore, the Welsh striker. 80 minutes makes it 2 0. Let's get into the lineups then. Everton versus Chelsea. That one kicks off in just under an hour, 50 minutes away. Matisse. How do Chelsea line up and are you confident for this one? Because let's not forget that Goodison Park has not been a happy hunting ground for Chelsea recently. And of course, you are facing your old manager and club legend in Frank Lampard. Let's see what the, how uh, Chelsea line up. Yeah, I mean, um, Mendy starts in goal. Uh, back three of Koulibaly, Thiago Silva, Asper Laqueta, Reese James at right wing back. Ben Chilwell starts, so no Cucurella, mm. but he did just join, to be fair, yesterday, but hopefully he's on the bench there. Jorginho and Kante, and then Sterling, Kai, Mason Mount. Right now, that's the strongest team he can pick from. Okay. Um, Kepa on the bench, Kovacic, Pulisic. Loftus Cheek, uh, Chaloba, Broha on the bench, Broha, uh, Ziesh, Novena, Gallagher, Gallagher. and Cucurella. Yeah, there's no, there's no need. Thirty-two for that. number. There's no need. Um, so, yeah, I mean, uh, in terms of Everton, we're finishing ahead of that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we're not done yet. Fafana, hopefully, maybe I don't know about De Jong. That's a little bit more further, further away. But yeah, I think in terms of Everton, the team's not great. You know, the team's not great. They let's read through it then. You know, Who we got for Everton? You know, you got Pickford, um, Patterson, Tchaikovsky, oh Mina, Godfrey, um, and you're and you're playing a back five. Wow, um, Malakano is it? Mikalenko. Mikalenko. Gray. Uh, yeah. Oof. What? <laughs> you know the pronunciation is <laughs> wrong for me. <laughs> Alex Awobi in central midfield. Yeah. Yeah, that's, his, that's what he does now. Yeah. He's better there, man. Is that a Joe Linton uh, type. Yeah. Progression? Trust me. Sorry, I've Second half Decore, of last season. Must have skipped that bit. Uh, Awobi, McNeil, and uh, Gordon up front. So no Deli Ali. Aye. I was told Deli Ali was going to be here playing. We go, here we go, time. here we go. Harry Kane. Wow. Sunny boy. Five. No, my God. Poor Not finish. quite. Uh, no. Deli Ali on the bench. Alan, Michael Keane, Begovic, uh, Ruben Vinagra, who uh, looks like a decent signing. Uh, and the other two names, Lewis Warrington and Stanley Mills. Everton. So. They're weak. Like, there's no, there's no Calvert Lewin. Yeah, and injured uh, again. Richardson's been sold. They brought in McNeil, cool. Doesn't have a great goal scoring record, although he did score a great goal in the friendly. Um, if I'm honest, I can't team. see anything other than a Chelsea win today. If we don't win this, we're a very unserious institution because <laughs> at the end of the day, Everton are on their knees. Every I Everton fan I speak to are dreading what the, the season. How could many look are you like. speaking to? Quite a few. Yeah, I've got connections okay. with the Everton fans. <laughs> yeah, yeah, blue, blue in it. <laughs> but blue bondage. Listen, the toffees is getting sticky icky for them. Oof. That's as simple as that. Like, like look that. at it. Look at that team. Look at the team. Like, it was a low it, blow. That it's blow. it's not. But but the record there. <laughs> no, that was looking good. That was, I like that. I like, really like that. <laughs> I'm gonna use that one. Listen, I need. But what I need now is a win, so I can put that on my that title of my YouTube used, review. Oh, no, I need. I need the win. It's now, getting so I sticky for the toffees. I need oh. that. I need that win, so I can put that in the title of my YouTube review. But. Sticky. Okay. But when it yeah when it comes down to Everton they haven't really kicked on and Lampard is in charge obviously they beat us at the Goodison last um, season we need to just have revenge in our hearts for that one but yeah the team's stronger we should be beating them to be honest mm, yeah I'm expecting a Chelsea win there if I'm honest that uh, lineup shows that Everton are basically relying on Anthony Gordon to score the goals number ten and that's another thing he's changed to number ten this season Gordon which again adds a little bit more pressure. Is he, he that guy? He was linked with no, Spurs, right? Not for a 10. He was linked with Spurs, am I wrong? Right. They what were doing some about? double deal. I don't think there was any truth in that at all whatsoever. And I think both clubs rubbished it pretty much as quick as possible. This yeah. is Everton. He's Everton's new academy boy. But in all honesty, I, I think he's a good player. 
Mm. But I don't think he's that guy. No, I'm no, surprised no. they haven't tried to bring Big back Big diver Barkley. as well, by the way. Yeah, Lots, I mean, they were linked to Barkley. Dive at Anfield, I tell you. Linked to oh, Barkley. Barkley, Barkley, Barkley and Hawaii, and said, they were linked with. Time to fulfill that potential. Yeah. <laughs> Come yeah. home. Come home. Do yeah. it where you belong. I, I don't know. We need you. It's the stature of Everton, and you're just looking at that attack, Deli Ali. You're looking at McNeil's call. They need each other right now. Gordon, Iwobi. It's like, wow, this, yeah. is, this is a long, yeah. this is a long day. Back? But can you blame him? Like, Barkley, we haven't seen anything from him in, in years. It's poor. It's, it's, yeah, bro, this is what I'm saying. It's like Everton. I, I think Everton are, are, are fighting they're relegation seri- again. They're in serious problems this season. I think they're serious fighting relegation problems. again. Celtic, I hope they don't go uh, down. But. Celtic with a late goal away at Ross County. 2-1 up now. Blackburn thrashing Swansea 3-0 away as well in the championship as we approach the last 10 minutes of the Premier League game. St. Maximum cuts in and it's wide. Uh, Newcastle, this is a great result for them. Let's have a word on them. Great start to the season. It's what they would have wanted considering how badly they started the season last year. And f- to be 2-0 up at home hey. against the promoted side, that's good. Yves mm. Bissouma debut. One thing I will say though about that Chelsea team is um, the defence is cool. You know, you can see that it's quite strong. The attack is still a problem. Like yes. Sterling cannot carry this team up there. I need Kai to do damage. I need him to step up this season. Enough of this indecisive um, stuff in the box. When you've got an opportunity to take your man on, take him on. If you can't take your man on, we got problems. But then your finishing needs to improve, or your playmaking. Something has got to be elite. You can't just be an all rounder, good at good at everything, elite at nothing. Um, and that attack for me, it still needs an extra player. You need to bring in another attacker to to really for me to really have confidence. But you've got Amanda Bro on the bench, who's at Southampton, six goals. It's not great, but he's he's also got that dog in him. Maybe he'll step up around Chance. better quality players. Oh, it's a miss I from am. Willock. We'll have to see. Uh, but Wilson, once again this Wilson. season, Chelsea's strongest asset is their defence. Um, yeah, especially when you're playing seven at the back, five at the back. Um, yeah, yeah. That's a cheap shot. That's a cheap <laughs> shot. That's a cheap shot. That's no, a cheap shot. I think, yeah, you, you build from the back. Mm. Your full backs, now, now that you've got um, all your wing backs, now that you've got Cucurello, you can obviously play left centre back and left wing back. You would hope that if you get injuries like you did last year, you've got cover uh, to actually, yeah, so you don't suffer in the way that you did. When Reese James, like Reese James' output last year with assists and even goals for the amount of games that he played was phenomenal. If you can get, if you can get a full season of him, or you have some cover out there. Um, you got cover for, for Chilwell on the left. I think, yeah, Chelsea are sorted when it comes to the back. You're sorted in midfield. Forget about De Jong. Trust me. You don't need him. Trust me. I'm not saying that because really? I'm Man United. Trust me. You, you don't need De Jong. I well, think uh, they do. They need to freshen No, no, don't worry. don't need him. Jorginho, Jorginho and Kante. Like, you go Man United. You don't need him at nah. Chelsea. You're good. Oh, man. that's you're good. why you're trying you know to say it. Oh, okay. You're right. You're right. Trust me on that one. Mm. But the attack, the attack's bad. The, the attack is... Like Havertz hasn't proved anything. Mm. Mount is good. Yeah, that's it. He's just he's a good player, solid player. You know what you're gonna get, and it ain't gonna be anything, anything spectacular. Werner is bad. Werner is a terrible. How footballer. is he still at Chelsea? Though, Pulisic, right? Because we can't get rid of him. Oh. He's on 270k a week. Ziyech is not good enough. Ziyech is for me very predictable. He had a good run in the middle stint of the season, but he keeps picking up injuries. So Chelsea, as much as I like Fofana, links. Um, and, and, you know, bids. I like Cucurella's, I think, a great signing. Um, Koulibaly's a great signing. Yeah, De Jong yeah. would be great. But that attack is still stinky. If you're talking about top four, your team's good enough to get yeah, top four. Yeah, exactly. But, but Chelsea need there, to be talking but but like bigger than that. Two, if, yeah. If, yeah, you, if, you, if Chelsea want to minimum close the gap, significantly close the gap, I'm not talking about 10 points behind. I'm talking about properly, actually, the little horse. Jose you have Mourinho. to be in that title race. Like, they won't be in the, the title no, no, race. The aim should be to be in the title race until like you know you fall away at the end yeah, yeah, not yeah. out of it crack, crack. five six points behind <laughs> something like that Se- seven max but you're not going to do that with that attack because no. you can make the comparisons with every other attack um, well look at that Liverpool went on got Darwin Nunes Liverpool and City City all, go and all get better, Haaland all better attacks and um, Arsenal and I mean we're probably li- around about the same as Arsenal in terms Liverpool of our attack, attack you know um, and they're obviously got a lot of young players still yeah. developing so yeah it's not it's not really good enough Hmm. Very interesting. Will there be any strikers coming in? 
the market's dreadful. I think um, Memphis. Would that it be could a... be Memphis. We was linked to Aubameyang. That won't happen oh, for yeah. me. Where's the scouts these got, days, man? We, we, we don't even know what's going on. Football, so it's like they've got that. Sesco. It's like they've got the spinning wheel and they've just got names from 2018 mm. on there and they go right. Who should we buy next? Yeah. But wait, where's you, the you don't, scouting? You don't think the Aubameyang one's happening? No, no of course no, it's not. No. Why not? Wait, why not? It's just too random. It's just not going to happen. He literally just joined. Why would he? Why would he leave Barcelona? He's not playing. That's their business. They need to clear the books. That's not Aubameyang's business. Aubameyang just moved from Arsenal in January to go to Barcelona. Now he's coming back to London. But he knows that he's not, with Lewandowski, he's not. He'll play. Nah, he'll play. He'll play ahead of Torres. He'll play ahead of Depay. And then you've got Rafinha and Dembele on the other flank anyway. He'll play in the past. Fatty, Fatty, yeah. Yeah, Yeah, Fatty, yeah. Listen, he could even (laughs) drop into the midfield maybe. Do you know what I mean? He's a still, he's a still young. Pedro, kid. Gabi, Busquets. Yeah. Uh, there's Busquets, too much Busquets, going on, man. Busquets is an old guy, man. You know, he's Busquets, Busquets is on 425k. You know, Pjanic is still there. Yeah, like Pjanic is still there. Yeah, Pjanic is still there, yeah. And don't, um, they want, don't they want Busquets to take, take another Yeah, I think Busquets and, and PK have Busquets agreed and Jordi to take being the biggest earners for me is, is, is criminal. Busquets I think and who? Busquets and Jordi Alba. Yeah, Jordi Alba. They are earning over 350k. It makes sense. They've been there the longest. I don't care. You are like 35 now at this point. Like, I'm sorry. When, especially when you're like club um, legends, legends. If you like, you should be the one saying, "Yo, we're taking the biggest cup." Busquets did, and PK did. Yeah, Busquets and PK did. So hold on. If this is them after the cup, what were they on before? Yeah. (laughs) Six, we have to ask the, the serious question. This is your team. The public needs answers. This is your team, bro. <laughs> oh, is that what it is now? <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> we. <laughs> we. Uh, Gerard yeah. is wasting that Villa squad, says Ash L. Villa 2-0 down on the opening day of the season away at Bournemouth, which loss. is not the best that's result at all. I can't lie. I mean, that's a, a shocker. And obviously, Aston Villa play Everton next week as well. Gerard versus Lampard. And uh, we'll see who comes out on top then. But oh, um, let, let's again. let's look ahead a little bit to the Everton Chelsea game today, Matisse. Um, mm. Again, not the easiest place to go to. Do you think that will have any impact on Chelsea? Shouldn't. I mean, yeah, Everton. Because it has done. Yeah, in it the has. Past there. Um, our record at Everton is really, really disturbing. We continue to keep drop points there, regardless of what shape they're in. I mean, we lost them last season. Like I said, I think Richardson is always a key factor for big teams flopping at Everton. He always gets under people's skin, wins penalties, causes problems, got the dog in him, starts fights. I think without Richardson, I do think our chances should be a lot stronger because there's no one to really rattle the cages. Yeah. I'm not afraid of Gordon up top, no disrespect. Um, Ali's not a game changer. You know, it won't be, come on. It, it, like we really, if we're serious about even top four, you know, just cementing ourselves in third and, and, and at least not stabilizing ourselves under new ownership we should be beating everton so even the atmosphere yeah but that should be gone within 10 minutes you know in 10 minutes you should be able to settle that crowd down and play your game so uh, there's not really any excuses from from chelsea's point of view today to be honest they need they need to win the game simple as that when they both had um you both struggled in pre-season both mm. uh, everton and chelsea mm. but i think obviously away from home but the, you've got some new signings at least yep Everton, are they, or Dwight Manuel? Trakoski and Magnolia. Kasuma almost gave us You've a debut one. I, I can't see Everton. Can't, how did Everton score? How did they score today? Especially against, against that your defence. Yeah, that that's what I'm saying. So all we need, in my opinion, that once you a... get that first goal, you really should be making... Well, was it Asper de Quetta playing? That. No. So uh, it's... um. Right is it Asper de Quetta I saw? No, it was Koulibaly Silva. Maybe it was Asper de Quetta. Yeah, okay. yeah, okay. I thought, again, I thought he was going to Barca. Yeah. Just like the two... But I think after what Barca did to us this summer, we're already yeah. letting them get Marcus Alonso. They were like, you're not having our captain as well. Yeah, so, I suppose he still is the captain. Yeah. Uh, Full time, Tottenham four, Southampton one. Fuad, what is your instant match reaction to that? Very happy with that, honestly. Day. Slow start initially. I thought when we conceded a goal, it was going to be one of those kind of long days where you think, ah, opening day of the season could be long. But listen, recovered well. And I think getting those two goals in the first half was important. And then it kind of gives you that clearance for the second half where you can really take control of the game. And I think that's what we did. Second half, we came out early, got the third goal. Boom, got the fourth one after that. And I think overall, all round, very good performance. Dominated possessions, lots of shots, defended well. Southampton didn't really create anything clear cut. And despite a quiet day for King, Son and Kulusevski still involved. And I've always said, as long as that front three turn up, 
I think we've got a chance against 19 yeah. out of 20 teams. I would agree with you. Well, I it's, really it's, it's August, so Kane, I mean, Kane yeah, has to chill. Not yourself. Not slow. Yeah. 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 Kane doesn't do August, does he? I was seeing who would clock that. Kane doesn't do August. Um, Unbelievable. But yeah, it looks like uh, Tottenham have won, which they have. Newcastle have now won at home to Nottingham Forest. I don't think this one can be understated, this win for Newcastle. Again, I hate to, to bang on about it, but when you consider the start they had last season, this was like, let's get the monkey off our back on the first game and make sure that we get maximum points, which they've done so today uh, against the Nottingham Forest side who haven't really threatened them too much. But again, you've got to give them a bit of credit as well. First game in the Premier League in 20 odd years. So, you know, it's not the worst. Um, other full times that we're seeing right now, Leeds, can they hold on at home to Wolves? Mm. There's only a couple of minutes left in that one, as well as Bournemouth at home to Aston Villa. Um, we'll see how those one finish very shortly. Uh, let's get out our predictions, right? I wrote all of these down at the start. Normally we do them during the show, but we thought we'd try something different this time. I'm going to read them out and let's see who, who got the closest. Mm. Leeds so Newcastle Forest... I said Newcastle won Forest nil. I was one goal off. Um, few had said one all. Wrong. Matisse two said two one. <laughs> two one to Newcastle. To Newcastle and Neek said two nil to the Geordies. So that's spot on. Well done. Um, I saw this one coming. Uh, Spurs Southampton. Every single person said two nil Spurs. Apart from Neeks, you said three one. Close, nearly. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Take off the own goal because so I just expected Spurs players to score three goals. So <laughs> <can't> <laughs> by the way, yeah. Bournemouth Villa is now over, as is Leeds versus Wolves. So massive three points for the Cherries, massive three Stevie points for G. Leeds as well. Stevie G, watching you this not looking season. good. Um, Everton Chelsea, I mean, we'll, we'll save those predictions for after the Everton Chelsea game. Bournemouth Villa, I went for 2 1 Aston Villa. Mm. And every single person went for a Villa win. Neeks went for a 1 0 draw. Which, uh, again, was wrong. So that was, <laughs> <laughs> that was, all of that was really bad. I was wow. close, I was uh, close. Leeds versus Wolves. I went 1-0. Matisse went 1-0. Fuad went 1-0. What is wrong with us? Neeks went 2-1 to Leeds. Yo, Neeks, no. had a, Neeks had a day. He had a say, day. Neeks knows Neeks ball. Neeks has you know, come out United on United top. Back, Guys, yeah. respect <laughs> me in the chat. I know ball. So if I say Arsenal crap, it's because I know ball. <laughs> respect me. <laughs> there you go, guys. Uh, the three o'clock kickoffs all finished now. As we mentioned earlier, we're looking forward now to the 5.30 kickoff. Everton versus Chelsea. Uh, that's going to start any second right now on DR Sports. So let's wrap this show up today. A really good opener, as was it uh, for Tottenham, as was it for for Newcastle. It's been a great opener for the season for DR Sports as well. Fuad, round of applause for you, mate. Well done. Great contribution. Uh, Matisse as well, you were great today. Cheers, mate. How you doing? Thanks. Thanks, guys. Good luck. And of course, Neeks. (laughs) Hashtag Neeks knows ball. Where's my champagne? Where's my champagne? You only get that if you win trophies, mate. Oh, oh. it's been it's been, been a while. Big, 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 big day tomorrow. Big day tomorrow. Big day. Well done to Alex for the host. Oh, thank you. It's very Good kind. Of thank you. Today. Two, Cheers, two. mate. Thank you. Fantastic. Right. <laughs> to be honest, we hardly touched on that, and that was good for me. For my <laughs> mental health. Why? Why? Is uh, that? <laughs> no time to talk about it. <laughs> uh, but listen, we will be back tomorrow with West Ham versus Manchester City. A massive game. Uh, which was a great game as well last season towards the end. So it's uh, it, was, it wasn't the last game. They played Villa. Second to they? last, isn't it? Second to last. Yeah. yeah, looking forward to that. So do join us on DR Sports, but stay with us for Everton v Chelsea. That was your Saturday football show. Take care.